And uh, welcome back, everyone, to Creature Feature. I'm just playing. That's my next show. But anyways, today I will be conversating with Concrete, and he will be dining with the wizard. So without further ado, first of all, Concrete, ¿cómo estás? I'm good, Dougie. What's up, Perito? I'm glad you're here, bro. Thank you for having me. I missed you since the last time. So Man, I miss being here, dog. <laughs> so today we're going to eat. So let's right. go ahead and introduce our food. Okay. Right. Really, really quick. I got one of these forks. You get one of these forks. Right, I got a lasagna good. because I believe it's supporting local uh, neighborhood uh, restaurants, yeah. businesses. And this is yeah. a place called Red West. You've probably eaten there before. It's off of PCH. Okay. And I know your boy Daz. Let's give a big shout out to Daz. Big shout out to Daz. You know, What's up, Daz? Uh, uh, my boy Johnny D. Yeah. But the whole the whole you know the whole Spanish fight thing. Yes. Everybody. So uh, here I got. Uh, I never had the lasagna, so. That looks good, dog. We're going to see. A ver qué pasa. That looks good. And That's then I, oh, I got you a... Uh, you got me a calzón. Sí. El calzón. The last time I had a calzón, right? La última vez, güey, was like, I think, I think I was like in fourth or fifth grade. No shit. Yeah, that was the last time I ever had a calzón. Okay, okay. Well, hopefully you enjoy this one. I know and, uh, the... It, like, like, I remember the first time I had a calzón, it weirded me out because, like, I had never had a... In, Inside out pizza, <laughs> and that's pretty much what it is, right? It's just a pizza covered. It's like it's basically a tamal pizza. Exactly. It's un tamal italiano. Sí, sí, right? exactly, exactly. Un tamal italiano. Un tamal italiano. It's like that one uh, Italian tamal. Tamal hey, italiano. Forget about it. <laughs> now I got you a pork right here. Right, if you, you want to cut it, also like quieres comer a mano, and then oh, here's the the, yeah. the secret sauce. This is the secret sauce. Yeah. Little. Sick, so I'm gonna try tums. this. Yeah, a ver, a ver cómo sabe. Está perro. Eh, hold on, it's a, it's a little. Okay, okay. I'll see you with the crispy. It's actually pretty good. It tastes like Chef so, Boyardee. I'm gonna take a little dip of the sauce real quick. Mhm. Mm a ver cómo sabe. Está bueno, güey. Está bueno. Está bien. You know what I stole and I already patented from you? Remember a salsa on the rocks? Yeah. Yeah, I, I get that already. Salsa on the rocks, bro. Hey, you know what's funny? Uh huh. Is I think. Mexican food, Italian food, Chinese food are probably what like the most ate around the world. Yeah, at least I believe so. Right? Yeah. I mean, I mean Mexican. Obviously, there's a Mexican restaurant everywhere, dog. I got to visit. Um, I was shooting. Uh, I was shooting a music video in, in Sweden. Okay. And um, I was shooting a music video in Sweden for my boy Sent Edelman, some some Cuban dude that uh -huh. was living in Sweden. And um, so we went out there, bro. And all we had. All they had was, they had, they had this like it was like a it was like a it was like a chicken sandwich place, right? Uh huh. Like you know, kind of like a what is it called, Chick Fil A? Okay. But in Sweden, bro, these white people in Sweden, bro, they love their mayonnaise, carnal. Seriously? They fucking love their. So la hamburguesa we te la daban with like fucking bread, chicken, and like a gang of mayonnaise for like a big ass glob, and then the bread, and you're like. Yo, can you take off a little mayonnaise? And they're like, it was like disrespectful to them, bro. It was like, what do you mean? Like, what do you mean you want to take off the mayonnaise? It's like, yeah, that's a lot of fucking mayonnaise, yo. Like, take off, like, because I would, I would take the burger and I'd go like this, boom. Don't mind. Damn. <laughs> so much mayonnaise, bro. Right? But they only had, you know, they, they had that spot and then, you know, they're big for their meatballs out there, right? Like, their, uh -huh. their meatballs. And we found one little Mexican restaurant spot in Stockholm, in, 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 in downtown Stockholm. And the only reason we saw it is because we saw a Shakey's and we were like, fuck yeah. Yeah. Oh, shit. Something back from back home, you know? We're like, oh, let's go to Shakey's real quick. And we're, and we're seeing Shakey's and then we, you know, like, looking at a, like a, a place to park and it was like some Mexican taco spot and there was a line, bro. No shit. I was like, okay, we're going there. We're going to taste what the fuck is happening with Mexican food in Sweden, bro. And how was it? Mayonnaise? Bad though. <laughs> so, we, you know, we, you were talking earlier about some, you know, Mexicans working in New York. Yeah. Dog, the whole kitchen was Mexican. No shit. The whole kitchen in Sweden was Mexican, right? And some Peruvians. Because in, <clears throat> in Sweden, there's a big Peruvian influx of people coming in. Wow. From Peru. Crazy, right? Because their education system, like, when you get to, uh, to Sweden, right. they pay for your education. They pay for your schooling. They pay you to learn the language. They pay for you to learn the language in Sweden, bro. Wow. 
and then they pay for your schooling, and then they pay for your housing while while you're going to school. No shit. Yeah. Damn. Right? It's just hella far. I wouldn't personally go to Sweden, right? Right. There was a gang of Mexicans working there, dog. And we waited, dog, for like about 15 minutes to get these pinches tacos, great. And we were, dog, we were there. It was already like our seventh day, dog. No hemos comido nada, güey. Toda la comida está bien. No está buena, güey, you know? <laughs> we know Swedish are not known for their food, you know? They're known for being Vikings, kind of. Right? So we're sitting there. We, you know, we get our tacos, and we're like, I was like, how many do you want, Biggie? My boy, Biggie. Right, like, Biggie. He was like, let me get six. I was like, I got you, my boy. Six. Que mas quieres, güey? Chips and sauce? A huevo, güey. Right? I got four tacos. We had uh, one of the homies who lived in some Peruvian homies. And then we had the artist. And I was like, I got you, guys. Nothing. I could just imagine what happened. She was $350, bro. <laughs> 350 dollars, güey. But you got them. Oh, I had this shit. <laughs> At that point, I had to. Right, 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 right. At that point, I had to. $350. Each taco was like $15, bro. Damn. Fuck. Fuck. Okay, now, but here's the question. Each taco was $15. Because to them, having that shit out there was like exotic. Yeah, 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 yeah. Wow. I was like, damn. These shits is like a dollar fifty back at home. Exactly. Exactly. Down the street. Fuck. Now, with the end, most good. tacos in Sweden. No, hey, they were bomb. For real? You know, they were bigger than usual. Like, they weren't street tacos. Right, know? right, right. They were like regular size tortilla, un chingo de meat, queso. You know, it, it, it was a good taco. It, it was a good taco. Okay, okay. Now, that was. It wasn't your conventional, like, taco tijuanense. You know, chiquito, right. you know, con el guacamole, la chingada. No, estaba, estaba grande, you know? That shit was good. And uh, um, was that the only thing that they were known for at that restaurant, those tacos, or did they have more shit? That's it, bro. That's it. All they were selling was tacos. And I mean, obviously, they were sending quesadillas and shit, but how can you fuck up a quesadilla? Right, you know? right, right, yeah. If you fuck up a quesadilla, fool, in culinary arts, fool, just fucking call it quits. Right. <laughs> Get the fuck out of the game, fool, because if you can't make a quesadilla, wait. Right? Can you make a Napoleon Dynamite quesadilla? What's that, fool? Quesadilla? You don't know what a quesadilla is? I know what that. I don't know what a Napoleon Dynamite is. <laughs> His mom told him to go make himself a quesadilla because he was hungry. God, oh. Anyway, that was Is a hell of a movie. In the movie five yes. Years? I've seen that movie like one time. <laughs> La Mila Como Cinco. Yeah? Let me tell you why. It's a cool classic, doggy. I personally never really like... I watch it now and I'm like, okay, I get it, you know? Okay. That, that was why I had to watch it. My kids at the time were still in elementary, junior high, yeah. high school. I put it on the DVD and they are fucking dying. And I'm like... I don't fucking get it. So I'm like, okay, I don't know. Yeah. So they go to sleep. So press play and I sit there. Yeah, you watch okay, I don't, I, don't, I don't get it. The third time, mm -hmm. serious, I fucking get it. Yeah. I get it. The fourth time, porque me gustó. And the fifth time, the pilon, yeah. they just watch it just to watch it. Well, you know, like, fun fact about that movie is that movie basically bombed at the box office. It did? Yeah, it did really bad. Um, it didn't really do much, but the movie became such a cult classic because it took people a little bit of time to get used to it and to appreciate it. That's what it was. I had to get used to it. I yeah, get yeah. Did you know that Robert, uh, Robert, uh, uh, Robert and Ebert, the guys that, or is it Siskel and Ebert, right? Siskel and Ebert. Yeah. They used to. Uh, they used to. Um, like rate the movies. Rate the movies. The movies, right? So when Ace Ventura: Pet Detective came out. They mm -hmm. butchered that movie, bro. Oh man! They butchered that movie. They said this, this, this is not gonna make it. This is, you know, I think they gave it both thumbs down. And what happens? Oh, Jim Carrey goes right and has then. three of the biggest movies <laughs> in fucking film history all in one year with Ace Ventura, Dumb and Dumber, and The Mask. And don't forget Nature Calls Part yeah. Two. And that was Part Two. Yeah, fuck. And they has and and Cisco and Eber get that shit two thumbs down. So. But a ellos les damos dos vergas. Uh -huh. Pero, Jim Carrey killed that shit. I know he did. He did. T to me, okay. Imagine uh, telling Jim Carrey like you're whack. Okay, uh, uh, let me ask you this: When nature, um, Ace Ventura, the first one, or when nature calls, which one you like better? Because it's hard to find a movie today, a sequel that's better than the first one. To me, I actually thought that the sequel was better than the first one. My opinion. I think. I think you were just so hyped to to see more, probably. 
But yeah, do I like that? Yeah, I mean, motherfucker, I like Rocky Four better than any of the Rockies. Okay. I like the last one, Rocky Balboa. Like, I won't watch any of the Rockies, fool, unless it's, like, on fucking TBS, fool. Okay. You know, like, you know when TBS plays that shit, they're like, we're playing all fucking seven of them! Because <laughs> it's fucking Thanksgiving week. Like, what the fuck, right? Like, I'll when, watch them all. Me too. But if you're going to ask, fool, I'd be watching on YouTube, pero, just the fucking Ivan Drago fight. You should make one called Trago. That's one of the biggest, that's one of the biggest, greatest fights I've ever seen. Fake or not, it's just great. Now, now, I'm going to disappoint you right now because I thought out of all of them, that was the weakest one. What? <laughs> the one? With Drago, yes. I did. I didn't, I, didn't, I was just like. Yvonne, fight. How? Yeah. Fool, had, she had the finest girl ever. I remember watching that movie like. But she was with Flavor Flav. Uh, no, that's besides the point. <laughs> That was on the fucking tail end of her career. She was like fucking tanking at that Like, fuck it, why not? Pobrecita, you know? Pobrecita. But at that time, dog, tell me that girl wasn't hot. Tell me you didn't look at her and be like, dog, I wish I was Yvonne. Dog, I, I would smash. Yeah. Uh, but, but you cool. know, I think I, I think actually Stallone dated her or something, right? Yeah, he married her. Yeah, he did, right? Yeah, so like, oh, Well, I don't know about that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he married her. Okay, look, I like all the Rocky movies, but the last one... I just really, really like. I, 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 don't, I can't get into the creeds. I watched both of them, pero no me gustaron. Uh, did you see the creeds? Yeah, I saw the creeds. I'm not really a fan of like stuff. Like, for example, I wasn't really a fan of like the new Ninja Turtles. No. My kids are because, you know, I'm not really a fan of like reboots of right. movies that were already classics. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm, I'm not. The only one, you know, what, one of the last ones that I saw... That, that that shit was dope as fuck was the It movie. The first one. Yes. The se chapter 2, I'm not a fan of I didn't, it. I didn't, I didn't really like it. Not because I didn't think it was dope visually. That shit looked amazing, but I don't know. Maybe I'm just a little slow, bro. I didn't really catch on to the whole script and what was happening. Right. Was kind of, I was like confused a little bit here and there. But the It movie, that first one that came See, out, the new one, fucking insane, bro. That shit was dope. Your, your best, if any, horror movie of all time, hmm. if you have one. If I have one? You know, dude, I'm a fan of, like, I'm a fan of Rob Zombie. Rob Zombie's for reals? I'm a fan of Rob Zombie, um, like, how demented his shit is and how realistic it is. You know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. Like, when you think of a movie like Halloween, right, like, it's the fucking killer right. with the mask, and it's like... Right. Fucking fall and he's and you're running and he catches you walking. But he's fucking walking <laughs> and not even like walking like speed walking. It's fucking it's like casually. Yeah, yeah, like exactly. He's just a walk in the fucking park, right? Right, right. And he still catches you some fucking how. No mama's but you know. But then you watch a Rob Zombie movie, dog. Like fucking, you know, you know, uh, Devil's Rejects. Like that shit right there, bro. Is is, is so realistic to me. The way they shot it, the way. Like, everything, like, a lot of the practical effects, and there wasn't all this fucking ghostly shit. Like, I like shit that's, like, realistic, you know? Okay. And I think people love shit that's realistic. Why do you think movies like, you know, A Blair Witch Project was so fucking big? Because it seemed real to people. Right, right, right. Why do you think people like fucking Paranormal Activity, 1, 2, and 3? Because there were realistic movies that brought you into reality. Right, right. Right? Like fucking Chucky. It's not as scary as much as it is funny. Let's be honest, right? Because right. what are the fucking odds, right? Right. Right? I, I, I get it, right? Like, what are the fucking odds, right? Like, Scream. Sc the first Scream. Yes. Remember that shit? With Drew Barrymore. I remember yeah. watching that shit in Panorama City. I was, what, like, fucking 11 years old when I was like, oh, he's fucking calling again. <laughs> Fuck. And then you went home and people were fucking around and crate calling people. That's right. Before right? Star 69. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Like that's why to me, I, I think Devil's Rejects is is high on my list. You know, definitely. I mean, fuck that. What about the Exorcist? You like the Exorcist or no? Yeah, it was before my time, dog. You know. Okay, that's right. Because I'm I'm, when I'm from the era of. Yeah, bro, you're from the era like you, you like Dracula and shit. The first one. Bella Lugosi's my dude. <laughs> <laughs> Boris Karloff, Lon Chaney. Let's keep it going. Tony was watching like silent horror films. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Black and white ones. <laughs> I, was I had no comic that. book. I just had uh, flip books. <laughs> that shit's hilarious, though. You know what I'm saying? Okay, well, you know what? I like I, I like Rob Zombie's uh, Este Halloween One. 
the, the one I didn't really like the yeah. second one, but la primera se me gustó because Michael Myers actually chased yeah. your ass. He, he I moved. wasn't really like I'm, I'm not a fan of his reboots. I like his shit. Okay. Like his shit. You know what I'm saying? Like the shit that he did anyway. Like Had you done anything shit. recently? Yeah, he just did uh Man, uh in, in fact fucking uh Emilio's in it and and it's it's a spin off. I mean what's like I think it's like a prequel or sequel or whatever the fuck of of Devil's Rejects. Oh shit. Mm hmm so this is before the devil rejected them. Yeah, this is after. It's probably called. This is after. The devil's, um, what? You know what sucks is that the uh, the guy that plays the clown in that movie he, he, he passed away. I think this year, last year, something like that. And he still in the movie? Then came out? No, no, the movie came out. Oh, okay. You never seen Devil's Rejects? Mm -mm. Oh, what? I hey, have to go. I have to go rent it. Tell people, have you guys seen Devil's Rejects? I, I, ask him, Alex. Ask him. That, that, is Devil's Rejects a good movie or not? Bottom line. Yeah, is Devil's Rejects a good movie or not, Alex? Go it's ahead. Fire. Put that on the live chat. Okay. Yeah, it's fire. Yeah. Uh, well, you know what? I bet. Uh, what's another good movie that I that I like to watch? Um, oh, I, I'll tell you. What's a What's a weird movie? Get the gusto. I, I know. Don't, without the Devil's Rejects. What's a uh, weird movie? A weird movie. I'll tell you one that I saw that I thought was kind of weird, uh -huh. pero sí me gustó mucho. The girl with the dragon tattoo. You ever seen that one? Yeah. It's just me gusto. I saw a little bit of it. Not not too much. I'm not really into sci-fi stuff like that. Uh huh. I'm I'm be honest. Can I just I just can I, can I be frank with you, bro? See? And all the viewers. And I might get slammed for this. Well, I'm not. I don't know what the big deal is about Star Wars, dog. I don't know what the fuck the big. I don't I don't get it, bro. I you don't must fucking be, get it. You bro. must be a Star Trek fan. Not even a star. I don't get it. I don't fucking get it, dog. Like, you know what, like Yoda? What? Is he a fucking child? Is he an old man? Who the fuck is Chewbacca? And why does he talk like that? And why can't he get a fresh cut or get that shit? Bro? I don't get it. I like Star Wars because they had the first Mexican in sci-fi. His name was Chewie. The fool, you better. <laughs> And Yoda, just rename him. Name, call him Yogurt. You know, I mean. But I like Star Wars. I the the Force just isn't with you. It's not, bro. So. It's not. I tried. Dog. I tried so hard, bro. I've tried watching it, bro. I really gave it. I've given almost all, all of them. The the Force Awakens. The Force goes to sleep. The foreskin. All of them, fool. The foreskin. <laughs> The foreskin's gone, the foreskin's back, the foreskin's pulled up. Yeah, I, exactly. I gave it all a try, my guy. And it just doesn't captivate me, you know? Like, it doesn't... Okay, I'll tell you, a weird movie I just fucking seen. Okay. Right? And it's weird because we just talked about Sweden. See. Si. But it's this fucking movie called Summer Summer Soul or Summer... Uh, yeah, so, yeah, Summer Soul or Summer Something, right? And it's about these fucking kids, right? It starts out fucking weird. And if people haven't seen it, I'm not gonna say much about the movie. Okay. But it's it has a fucking in dude. The fucking beginning is an intense beginning, bro. The first five minutes, you're just like, what the fuck am I watching? Right? And you're like, no, but you're so caught into this right, shit. Right, right, like, right. What the fuck? Right? So I'll tell you, you know, I'll give you, I'll, you know, I'll wrap it in a bowl for you. But there's a part in the movie um, where. These kids, they go to Sweden and they go to a retreat where it's like a fucking cult. No shit. And they get stuck inside the cult. Hmm. And the actual fucking, um, the actual event actually exists in Sweden, but it's not as depicted as in the movie. It's overblown in the fucking movie. It's, it's called Summer summer Something, dog. Summer, summer. Summer of Sam? Nah, dog. That's, 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 that's a great movie, too. It is a good movie. But anyways, it's a weird, but it really paints a picture of how cults can fucking be, dog. Right. And how wicked they can be. You know what kind of that kind of reminds me of? A little bit. Yeah. You ever see Hostel? Yeah. I like Hostel. See, Hostel, Hostel, you know, Hostel is real, bro. I, I, I believe it. Yeah, Hostel is real. When I, you know, when I got a chance to travel um, into Europe with my boy Sakan, when we were touring out there, uh -huh. we stayed at a couple of hostels, bro, and it's, and it's, and it's strange, bro, because it's just people who, like, you don't fucking... You don't know who they are. Right, right, right. You know, and you're all sleeping in this fucking dorm. It's like, who knows? Right. Right? So imagine you go into a hostel, right? Here's fucking Tony. He just got back from being a cool guy in Europe, right? Right. You're smashed. <laughs> you know? 
You're going to sleep thinking it's going to be all right. Right. And here's this fucking fat guy in the middle of the night trying to cut with you, fool. Trying to tickle your fancy. Trying to tickle your fancy. Then, I mean, Tony, what are you going to do? Call Ghostbusters? I don't know. <laughs> and it's like that because it's, it's just right there. Luckily, when we were there, it was like a fucking like a military room because there was like some other, it was like a bunch of dudes that were there. So it just kind of felt like it was just a bunch of like. Fuck you know, all that, bro. Yeah. So we only did that one night. And then for the rest of the nights, we definitely got an Airbnb and shit because it was just like, yeah, that was a good experience. Okay. Let's we'll do it again. Yeah, let's move on to the next country. Man, okay. You a big boxing fan? Of course, you're Oscar de la Renta. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm a big boxing fan. I love boxing. I don't know if I'm fucking knowledgeable. Oh, no, like, okay, okay. Do I know? Did you watch the Canelo fight? Yeah. That was a good fight, huh? Yeah. I mean... <laughs> who else is he going to fucking fight? Who's out there? I mean, I don't know. What are we... You know? What, 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 what if he was looking on Instagram and he said, Quiero este way. And then they call you, Oscar de la Renta, Madrazo contra Canelo. Yeah, what the fuck? Okay, cool. Million yeah. dollars, easy. No, I'm not going to get knocked out for a milli, dog. Oh, okay. What do you want? No, I mean, nothing less than like 50 grand, my God. Let's go. <laughs> no, oh, I'm, would you get hit by Mike Tyson for a million? Hell yeah. Real quick. Yeah. Real quick. I think I could take a punch by Mike Tyson. I think so, too. Yeah. I mean, I'm definitely going to get knocked the fuck out. Yeah. Like, I'll take, yeah, dude, look, man, I got hit by a fucking five, dude, that was like five seven boxer, my boy. I was... This is when I was training and shit. Now and I was just training just to lose weight. I wasn't training to be a fucking boxer. Uh -huh. <clears throat> but you know, you start getting comfortable and you're like, eh, I can get in there. Yeah. yeah, yeah, but I'll fucking spar with you. Why not? Yeah, let's go. Let's fucking go. And then you know, so I'm you know, I'm clearly fucking taller than him. I'm a little bigger than him. And uh I by just sheer fucking luck, bro, le, le pegó un putazo, wey. bien bien puesto. Pies. And immediately for I knew, I knew, like Cause he started moving different. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like I hit him and I saw the look on his eye. Like he was like, okay for this. Okay. So you want to spar spar. Okay, cool. Yeah. Right. Right. And then, uh, he started, he started charging at me and I turned my back on him. He was like, don't do that. And I was like, well, fuck fool. You scared me. My like, G thought you, <laughs> you fucking scared me, bro. Right. So, I was like, fuck it, let's do this shit, right? So in my head, I'm like, fuck it, let's do it, bro. Right? So I'm bobbing, I'm weaving, dog. Right, right, right. It wasn't as fast. I, I had to weave faster, I have to bob faster. Right, right. And he got me on the ropes, fool, and I was trying to cover my, you know, my top so much that he got me with, like, he he, he, he got me in the stomach and low-key folded me, fool, like, ah, right? And I put my hands on and I, and I tried to punch him and then I just fucking felt one to the side of my head. Bah! And then... Next thing you know, I'm fucking driving home. <laughs> I'm driving home, fool. I don't even know how I got in my car, fool. I don't even know how I took my gloves off, fool. I got the bandages tossed. I thought, yeah, pressed up, they hanging off. I'm like, what the fuck just happened? And that was when Oscar de la, de la Renta was born. Man, that was, no, man, that's my, <laughs> man, that was my boy, Ron Cruz, man. He's actually a great boxer. He's out right now. Follow him at Ronald Cruz. Uh, Ron Cruz, you guys can find him. He hit me, bro. Got your way. And Damn. I think and I think he'll tell you if I don't think I ever went back. <laughs> you just kept driving? I don't think I ever went back. I'll be honest. I don't think I ever went back. <clears throat> wow. Okay. Okay. Hey, hey, you know what? What's trending right now? Is is Jenny69 still trending? That's my homegirl. Oh, okay. So um Let's just get that really clear. <laughs> <I'm just kidding. laughs> no, because I know for a while, for a hot minute, it was like trending. Still trending? Yeah, I think she's trending. What the fuck? All right. All right. I guess, right? Yeah. Did you shoot her video? No. I was I was supposed to shoot her music video. Oh, for reals? Okay. These are facts. All right. Um, but unfortunately, just due to schedules, I couldn't I couldn't do it. All right. All right. But yeah. And then, um, yeah, recently I got a chance to work with her, but I can't talk about it, so. Top secret. Hey, that'll work. <clears throat> but I met her, I actually met her at the, I had met her before she, she was doing the music stuff. Um, I was doing a music video for Cheekies, you met her? Okay. And they're homegirls, so she showed up for the music video. And then uh, 
So she like you know she did a cameo, and then um, I did a music video for MC Magic for his artist uh -huh. J Rocks uh -huh. in the Centro, and she went out there so, uh, for a cameo. So okay. I, so I worked with her again there. Oh okay. And then that's when she actually showed me the record. This was back like in fucking June. And when you heard, I heard it, this record in June, when so you, you guys just heard it like three weeks ago, a month right, ago. Right, right, right. Yeah, I heard, I had heard of this record like back in June. And what was your honest opinion when you first heard it? Or oh, you can't talk about it. Nah, I, I, you know, I think you know. Again, dude, I mean, most people are gonna have like you know, I mean, opinion like whether it's, it's, it's whack or right. whatever, dog. But there's a listener for everybody, bro. Of course. You know, like even my comedy, right? Like for me to sit here and be like, yo, she's fucking whack, or, yo, she's. Yeah, maybe it may not be for me, but right. there's a 13, 15 year old kid that's gonna be like, yo, that's hot as fuck, and I want to support it. Right. And just how people would listen, you know, like they, you know, they watch my skits, they might be like, you know what, dog, concrete, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't think he's funny. I'm more of a fan of, you know, Jay Valentino. I'm more of a fan of Legend, or I'm more of a fan of, of this other guy. Right. And you know, I can't take that shit personally. It is what it is. And at the end of the day, whether people talk shit about it or not. Uh, she's still gonna get her paper, right? And at the end of the day, that's what we're all trying to do this for. Of course, you know, I went from being, you know, I went from being a rapper to being a director, to literally wearing underwear on camera, and I don't have the greatest body, Tony. See, but that's a matter of opinion because I think you do. What I mean, you know, hey. Look, dog, your, your love for me, dog, doesn't have to be spoken to I can see it in your eyes. You know what I'm talking about. Despensa. Every time I see you, every time you see me, fool, your eyes get, your eyes get like, But that's not for, that's not for you. This, I know, that's for that's another, another podcast. This is not, this, 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 this is not keep a dinner table conversation. Let's keep going. Uh, how about the Cowboys? <laughs> you know? Pero todos modos, wey. You know, hey, best of luck to her. Best of yes. luck to the other girl. Mm-hmm. The La Manzana, I think uh, she has she has a record too, right? Um, well, La Manzana. Yeah, you know, like you know, what I mean, they're because they're, they're, they're bashing that girl for not sounding great or whatever, you know. But yeah, she's like with Manzana Records or something. Oh, the one um, she look like a little youngster. Mm -hmm. Okay, I, and and honestly, I think she got a cool little flow. I just think they need to mix the record better. Like you I know need what? to hear her better. That's what I think. That's the only thing that I said <laughs> when somebody showed it to me. What do you think? And I said I can't hear her. I can't hear her. That's it. Yeah. That's it, but her flow sounds cool. Yeah. Just raise the levels a little bit. I don't know. I'm not a fucking... What the fuck am I saying? I'm not a fucking... Engineer. Engineer, bro. Maybe they use that auto-engineer website. I don't know. Maybe they were trying to hide the lyrics. That, see, we never thought about that. So they could be like, if you really want to listen, fool, really listen, fool. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. Strategic, fool. Yeah, we never know the in these last days. <laughs> Maybe that's why mumble rap gets a lot of play because everyone's trying to decipher. Decipher, fool. Very true. Okay, Strategic. give us give us the outcome of that question. Read okay. it to us. <clears throat> okay, did, did you watch Devil's Rejects? It was the question, uh -huh. and seventy eight people voted. Hell yeah, um, four percent said yes, but not for me, and fifty four percent said nope. What? Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. Um, not everybody likes caviar, right? right. I can actually say I've never had it. No, no, I would no. like to. No, 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 I'll be honest. And that's probably a true statement, right? Like, right, because if you think about it, like in the grand scheme of things, right? Right, you know, when you think of say a, a Rob Zombie movie, Rob Zombie movies are not necessarily fucking, you know, how host, how host name movies like. A, a, a Chucky is, or or, or an Amityville, or any of those. You know what I'm saying? Right, he, right. Because he's just, he just, he just has a whole different, right, fucking perspective on shit that I tend to appreciate. You know right. what I'm saying? Doesn't say that I don't fucking like all the other movies that are out. You know, um, like, you know, like you know what or whatever. I mean, I, I haven't even seen that Yolanda, but there's been, you know, plenty of fucking horror movies that I've seen lately that are like, yo, it's amazing. Like, like you know whose movies? Like, believe it or not, and a lot of people might blast me. But I don't really, I'm not saying they're whack. Yeah. They're just not for me, the uh, Quentin Tarantino movies. What? Which one? All of them. Okay. I'm, no, no, it's cool. Look, uh, no, huh? I get it. Because I wasn't, I wasn't like, I really never sat there and saw like Kill Bill or nothing, right? <laughs> but I'm a big fan of like Django. Okay, okay. okay. I have to give him that one. Yes. Django was fucking great. Yes. Okay, like Pope Fiction, it was, I just thought it was like weird like to me. I just thought homie's character, the dude that's, the dude that, 
the you know the you know the fucking the bounty hunter, the one that picks right. him up and like you know gives you know like fucking changes his life and whatnot, right? Right, right, right. Um, I, I thought his fucking character was just fucking spectacular, bro. Like like his his wording, how witty he was, how fast he would talk, and he, he's that you know that character was just. Like, like, you know what's another one that a lot of people liked, but I tried, I watched it twice, but no, like, I read, uh, Reservoir Dogs. Yeah, that's a great movie. I tried watching it, and I'm like, I don't get it. Well, maybe, you know what, and it's maybe this, right, because the first, the first five minutes of the movie can get you really dizzy. If you guys know Reservoir Dogs, right, this is, it's a spinning shot at dinner. So the, so the camera just keeps going around the cast. As they're talking and as they're conversating about how they're who's gonna leave a fucking tip and why they're not gonna leave a tip and whatever the fuck, so I can see why. But then after that, oh man, it just becomes a fucking it's a shit show, like in a good way because there's so much shit's going on, you know. Right, right. I tr I tried, but like uh, uh, I tried watching the two kill bills and I did watch them, but I just I just couldn't get it. But Django, yes, uh, you know I don't even know he even made that shit. Yeah. Yeah, that was, yeah, that was a badass movie. What about, um, you guys ever watched that movie, Amores Perros? That had like a kind yeah. of Pulp Fiction kind of yeah. thing happening. Yeah, I saw that movie. I haven't seen that. Pretty That's good. like, my parents love that shit. Yeah. Is that pretty good? It's yeah. A, I haven't seen it. Okay. It's like yeah, the it's Spanish. Like, it's like the new, it's, it was like the new, new wave of like, Cine, Cine Mexicano. Okay. It was like the new wave, like in the in the early two thousand, mid two thousand. Yeah, it wasn't. Right? It wasn't a soap opera. Yeah, it was like an actual movie, and it was like really well done. With which birth, I think one of that, like one of those actors in that movie, just became really fucking huge. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. You a big lucha libre fan? Mexican? Mm -hmm. mm, no way. More like um, who? Like Hulk Hogan, Ultimate Warrior, stuff like that. I mean, growing up, yeah, but it's like. You know, growing up how I grew up and shit, like, this shit was too expensive for us to even go see that shit. Like, we didn't, you know what I'm saying? Right, right, right. And watching it on TV was cool, but, you know, it was just, I, I, yeah, like, I remember, like, Macho Man and fucking Bret Hart and fucking <laughs> the, the fucking these guys and shit, right? The Bushwhackers. The Bushwhackers and, you know, I remember all that shit, you know? But, yeah, it was cool. Hell yeah. I mean, I, I, I fuck with it, but I wasn't, like, a heavy fan because I always knew, like, man, it's just fake. See, here, now, now here's the crazy part. <laughs> Try convincing a real wrestling fan that wrestling is fake. No, and, okay, and let me let me tell you this, bro. Just like you don't play boxing, right? You right. box. You you can play basketball, you can play baseball, but there's no play boxing. You're you're boxing, and in wrestling, bro, yeah, bro, those are yeah, those are fucking getting hurt, bro. They're pulling muscles, they're fucking breaking ankles. Yeah, I get that part. I'm just saying, like, me growing up wanting to be an actor as a kid, I used to be like. Man, I can see right through this shit. You know right. what I'm saying? They weren't even good actors. You know what exactly, I'm bro. Ex exactly. <laughs> like I wasn't fooled even as a seven year old. I was like, man, this was can, this was really over the top, huh? Like <laughs> he's really just spitting in that mic, huh? Talking like, oh, yeah. Like I was like, that was kind of over the top. I I, I mean, but you what know what? The fuck do I know, bro? Like I was a fan of Steve Urkel. So what the fuck do I know, right? Like I never watched one Steve Urkel episode like, before. You never saw Family Matters? No. Nah, hell no, fool. You were like in the streets, fool. You were in the streets already <laughs> by that time. Nah, you know what? I, I You probably watched like fucking the Bill Cosby show. No. I'm going to tell you right now. Sanford and Son, uh, What's Happening. We talked about that good, last time. Yes, Good, good times. times. Yeah, hella old shows. Fool. And uh, uh, what was the other one? Yeah, like you like you were watching some of the first like black sitcoms, fool. Yes. I'm the Mexican Jack Tripper. Yeah. Okay, yeah. And then, uh, but yeah, I used to like all that shit. Yeah. But oh, like, I watched a little bit of Martin, not too much. Oh, Martin was hilarious. Redman? Yeah, just. You never saw, you never saw the player from the Himalayas? My fucking, the little dude, he used to come out. He, yeah, with the, with the Mocoso? He used to do the Mocoso. He used to do the player, Shanene. Uh, <laughs> he used to do, uh, fuck, he used to do a gang of characters like the Bellman, right? Or some shit like that, right? Like, <laughs> Jerome. Jerome. <laughs> Jerome in the house, like, come on, dog, what? I tried. <laughs> that shit was classic. I tried. But Jerome you know what? Uh, uh, Def Jam Comedy oh, Hour. The liquor store scenes, what? what? The Def Jam Comedy Hour, you ever watch that? It was hosted by him. Yeah. Huh? Yeah, I used to like that shit. Mm -hmm. now, now, let me ask you this. Okay, you go around, you, you guys do comedy. Talk a little bit about that, bro. Because I know you guys got one called Los Toxicos. Yeah. Who, who, who does all that invo involve? Uh, well, we started out... Uh, we were very fortunate enough to have uh, Frankie Quinones, which is Creeper. Yes. Super fortunate, dog. 
to have him hop on the tour in the beginning. Um, I got called, you know, I got I got involved because Jerry called me, and Jerry was like, "Hey, dude, we're trying to do this, you know, this comedy tour." And you got to think about it, dude. These are like seasoned fucking, com- ca- you know, comedians. Yeah. Was, you know, Jerry Garcia, Jesus Sepulveda, which is actually in Europe right now, shooting the HBO special, and Frankie, which he's doing a bunch of TV shows, right? And doing stand up and shit. And he calls me. He's like, "Hey, come, man, like, man, you think like." You, like, you ready for stand-up? And I was like, what? Nah. And, and honestly, Tony, I've been fighting I've been fighting doing stand-up for like, like the last two years. Because for the last two years, I've had a lot of comedians, stand-up comedians with huge names, bro. Right, right. Tell me like, hey. Go for it. This is the next step. And because of the fact that, you know, being a fucking IG comedian and me doing skits is like, you're not accepted into the real comedic world of stand-up. And, you know, it's like you got to pay your fucking dues, right? Like, right. And I respect that, you know, and I was always fighting in the sense of like, sabes que, wey, pues, yo no quiero ser stand-up, wey, I just want to act, wey. I just want to do, you know, I just want to be a comedic actor. Right, right, right. You know what I'm saying? I want to be a comedic actor. My, it's it's not, stand-up is not for me. I don't want to do it. And I, and another reason I want to do it is because I didn't want to disrespect the craft. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. I didn't want to disrespect the craft, and I was just like, "It's not for me. That's not my lane." Right. I'm just, I'm just gonna stick and keep doing, keep doing this comedic acting shit, and try to book TV shows and movies and whatever. Right. Um. But in this fucking industry, bro, like you know, like, and I respect it, bro, because I, you know, I mean, I went from music and DJ and all that shit, so I know that you gotta pay your dues and shit, you know. Yeah. And, and, and you have, but maybe what you're talking about in the com- comedian world. Yeah, in the comedian world, maybe I haven't, you know. Um, but it, it, you know, none, I mean, nonetheless, a lot of you know, a lot of comedians reached out, and obviously, you know, Frankie Quinones, Creeper, and you know, uh, Jerry Garcia and Jesus were like, they believed in me enough to say, like, hey, dog, let's let's start this tour. Right. We want you to host it. We want you to do some of your, you know, do some of your content, and you know, have it your way in a way. Which, which, probably the best thing that could have happened to me this year, bro, because it's been a fucking. It's been fucking dope, dog. That's dope, man. It's been a blessing, bro. People have been accepting me. They've been really enjoying my comedy. And I feel like I'm just fucking getting my feet wet now. And now it's like, bro, I went up thinking that I was going to do like only five minutes. I'm over here doing 12 minutes. No shit. And people are liking it. And people are laughing. And people are like, yo, bro, like what? You know, like I invited people. Like my, my first show that we did. Actually, my first show that I did was in... Crazy man, back in my hometown in San Fernando, okay, in the valley, Granada Hills to be exact. And my boy threw like a he he he, he threw a show, and he was like, "Yo, man, why don't you come out and do some of your comedy?" Yeah. And I was like, "Fuck what?" I was like, "All right, fuck it," you know. And I had already booked. I had I had already I, like I had already told Jerry, Jerry, I'm doing the tour with you. Right. And I hadn't yet gone on any stage. And you already committed. And I was committed already to doing the comedy tour without ever setting foot on stage. Were right? You, were you nervous? Bro, there was only 35, like maybe there's, what, 50 people there, Pep? So was, was, there's like, that's my cousin P Dog. What's up, P Dog? He's always in the building. P Dog, right? Pepe, Pepe. Uh, so, you know, there's 50 people there, bro. Again, you know, my boy Jesus Sepulveda's there. We got a, uh, my boy Christian. And then, uh, you know, uh, uh, Jay Valentino was going to do some too. Uh-huh. So I get up there full, and at, at first, the people were like, ha ah, ha ah. And, you know, like, it's not a comedy club, dog. So they're not, <laughs> they're not really there for, like, right, right, right. Com- you know, shout out to Buns on the drums. So, you know, people are not really there to see comedy, you know what I'm right. saying? So, you know, and then whatever, I fucking panicked, bro. My first time I went up, I panicked. And, like, as soon as I saw the people were laughing, dog, like my brain's like, get the fuck out of here, get the fuck, <laughs> run, <laughs> run for your life. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! Right. So I'm fucking sitting there, and I'm like, I gotta fucking go, and I'm like, all right, guys, coming up to the stage right now, Jay Valentino, and I'm out of here, and I fucking ran off, bro, and I fucking ran off. I'm like, how long were you up there for? A minute, not even. But that minute seemed like a fucking decade, bro, when you're in front of people, right? Uh, and keep in mind, bro, I've been in front of people before. Of course. I've rapped, I've done DJ, my shit, I've been everything. on tour, I've done all that shit, right? Right. 
But this is but just this a whole different, different monster. Because people are like, okay, well, make me fucking laugh, clown. <laughs> and there's no music to back you up. There's no fucking hype, man. Like, yeah, put your hands up. There's none no, of that. None of no, that. It's you and the fucking mic by yourself and that fucking light hitting you. And that's it. So figure it out, cabrón, you know? So I fucking book it. Bro. I'm fucking out of there, right? And right here, I go to the bar and I'm like, fuck, how do I do? And the guy's like, you, what, what do you mean? You fucking bombed. What happened? I was like, he's like, dude, just relax. Just fucking relax. He's like, what's your bit? I was like, look, my bit is about my girl being toxic. And he's like, all right, all right, all right. Just fucking relax. Go back up there. They already fucking know you here. Go back up there and do your fucking bit. Go back up there? He's like, go back up there and do it. Because I'm hosting this shit. Oh, shit. Yeah, I got to go back up and show my fucking face again. Right? <laughs> so Jesus and Christian are like, and my cousin, he was like, just, yeah, no, you got mad. You're, you're fine. Like. I think my cousin was lying to He's like, oh, you fucking killed it. And I was like, what? Nobody was laughing. <laughs> <laughs> right? So I go back up to the second pinchy time, fool. I go back up there, and then I'm doing my fucking bit, fool. I'm like, woo, woo. And people are sort of laughing. Uh -huh. And then people started laughing, and then boom, I hit them with a good joke, and people were laughing. And I was like, all right, cool. I feel good about myself. Yeah. All right? And I had planned que iba a salir con el buki, way. I was going to do los bukis. Right, right, right. Right? So I, so whatever, I bring out the next comedian, boom, 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 bring out the next comedian, and then it's my turn to go back up and close the show. Okay. And everybody's like, well, just do the bookie shit, do the bookie shit, right? So I go up there for, and they're like, hey, guys, you know, we just got a special guest, man. This guy's been touring. You guys know him. You know, shout out to Marco Antonio Salinas, los bookies. And I come out, and people were like, what the fuck? Oh, shit, is that cool for me? Right? People were, like, they recognize the shit. And honestly, dude, I blacked out for like 20 minutes, bro. I was just fucking hammering the mic and people were just fucking like, Oh shit. I started improving, bro. Just you know, something about when I put a, a, a character on, when I when I when I go into this character mode, it's not me anymore, dog. So it's like I don't give a fuck what happens while I'm up here now. It's just it is what it is. Right, know? right, right, right. And I think that's what helps me. That's why I'm so successful at my sketches and I'm because once I turn into this character, it's like whatever dog it's, it's whatever happens happens at this point you know okay now let me ask you this okay uh when you rapped you wrote your own shit right i i have to ask guys it's been a good night thank you guys i appreciate <laughs> your time okay. yes i wrote my own shit now when it comes to your Fuck, Tony. To, your, to your comedy do you write your own stuff Guys, it's been a good fucking night. Thank you, guys. I appreciate your time. <laughs> what the fuck, Tony? Hey, I have to ask because there's a bunch of ghostwriters out there. I'm not a... I know. What I, the fuck, man? I have to You gotta be fucking rich. First of all, you gotta be rich to have motherfuckers write for you. You need money to have motherfuckers ghostwrite for you. Tony, what the fuck, man? So you're saying that nobody wrote the Island Boy sketch? Fuck no. <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> nah, I, nah, nah, no. Nah. To keep it one thousand, dude. George Lopez writes all my shit. Oh, okay, I get it. <laughs> <laughs> nah, dude. I, yes, I write my own shit, dude. Like, like every single one of my skits that I do, it's, it's, you know, like, yes, I write all my okay, skits. Okay, nah, the rebels, the fucking, you know, uh, los bukis, like, all, like all that shit was, yeah, like that was all my that's conception. Dope, that's yeah. dope. I have to ask because I've asked comedians that say. I have friends that help me. And I'm like, oh, okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, no, yeah. I mean, I think, you know, of, of course, bro, like, I'm not gonna lie, like, for example, like, when I've been doing my stand-up stuff, right? Like, I'm telling my joke, you know, I'm like, hey, so, you know, I'll tell Jesus or Jerry, and they'll be like, oh, you know what, why don't you, why don't you do this and, you know, tweak this in there, you know? Or, you know, why don't you come through it like this? And then, yeah, like, of course, like, when there's, you know, like, you know, that kind of comedic stuff, of course. Obviously, when I do skits with, like, with, uh, with Jay Valentino or whatever. Yeah, there's always input, bro. Like, okay. Like, okay. Uh, yeah, of course. You know, like on your delivery, te están diciendo. Yeah, for okay. sure, for sure, for sure. But as far as conception and ideas, yeah, I come up with all my concepts and ideas for the most part by my lonesome. You know what I'm saying? That's just dope, man. Um, and, I like I, and, I, and, I, and I just happen to bring people into my world. You know, the Jay Valentinos, my dad, Baby Bash. Like, who, whoever you've seen I've done skits with, it's usually been my conception and my idea, you know? That's dope. Now, now, let me ask you this. When you first asked your dad, I didn't ask him the first time. He asked you? No. Wait, or, wait, no, it had to be candid as fuck. I was in the car recording like this, and he didn't know the camera was on. He, he doesn't know the camera's on half the time, bro. That's dope. Yeah, I mean, obviously, there's some that we have, you know, mm -hmm. talked about and, and, and scripted. 
But that's the beauty of it, that it all looks legit. Because my dad's a fucking great actor. It, and you know what? Let, let me tell you something. It, uh, uh, my dad, I'll tell you who was, you know, rest in peace. Uh, I do believe that if he would have been alive and he knew I had cameras and he knew I had a podcast, he would he would want to come over here. Seriously, because my dad was like the Mexican Jim Carrey. He was a fucking clown, like seriously. Yeah. He was a real clown. So that's why I appreciate you doing that with your dad. Because I look at it more from a father and son relationship. Yeah. You know, that like, damn, that's dope. He gets down with his dad. Yeah, yeah. You know, like, you know, it's, yeah, like, obviously, like, doing shit with my jefito, dog, it's, it's the best, bro. Like, this is probably the most bonding time we've ever had. Yes. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And, and it's not because my dad didn't want to be at my basketball games or he didn't want to be at my basketball practices or he didn't want to come to my show. He was just always fucking working. Right. So it's not because he didn't want to, even though at the time I thought he was like, my dad doesn't fucking care. <laughs> you know? Right, but right, right. Chando, I was chingando, like, you know, he was working to fucking, for me to be able to go to that fucking basketball tournament, for me to do all these little things, you know? But... Me doing the skits with my dad and seeing how much love my dad gets, it's like, dog, you know, like my dad goes to the fucking store and people recognize him now. And it's that's like, my dope. dad fucking, like, my dad's 60, but my dad's 60 years old, bro. Like, my dad's living a whole new life at 60 right now. Damn. Because he, of social media. He's seven years older than me. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. You know, and my dad's living a whole new life at 60, bro. Like, they're buying him lunch at work all the time. That's dope. That's you dope. You know, they That's recognize dope. Like, they're taking, they're paying him to come out and fuck around at <laughs> truck shows. That's what dope. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Like, imagine if somebody told you, hey, man, you're going to blow up at 60. You're going to be like, what? Say you? Or like, or like, you're going to have some kind of, like, little hood fame at, at 60. I'd be like, I'll take it. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. I'll ride that shit till the wheels fall off, perrito. Okay, you know, you know who I just had here, uh, I think, like, a week ago? Uh, on um, este Antonio Pelayo and Cedric, okay? And Cedric was uh, talking about Ghetto Busters. Mm. He was promoting it. Mm. You, you want to talk about a little bit about that? I hate that show. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> dude, I fucking, I love Ghetto Busters, dude. Ghetto Busters has been a blessing, dude. You know, that, you know, that, like, that whole project has been, fuck, dude. I got that project because of social media, bro. Like, you know, they saw me on, on social media. Shout out to my boy Lyrics. Lyrics was actually the original star of the show. No shit. Lyrics was supposed to be Jalapeno, which that's my character, the star okay. of the show. He's, you know, he's like the leader of the fucking band, you know? Uh-huh. And Lyrics was actually like, you know what? He told the director and the producer, he was like, hey, guys, I'm going to be completely honest with you. Check out this guy on Instagram. I think this guy would be the better part. He, he, you know, he'd be a better fit for that, you know, for your Jalapeno character. And the producers and the writers saw it and they were like, yeah, we need that guy. Let's fucking call him up. So they, you know, they called me up and they're like, hey, dude, check this out. You know, we're only, we're only shooting one episode. It's just for fucking YouTube. It's just because basically we're just trying to spend some money or whatever, right? Right, right, right. We're trying to do something, you know? It was like a, it was a project between projects. Okay. You know what I'm saying? And then, so we shoot the episode, and then the shit got, like, great reviews from, like, a bunch of people. No shit. They're like, yo, this shit is funny, this shit is hilarious, like, you guys should keep going. And then they ended up getting, like, a budget for it. They ended up getting a budget for it, and we ended up shooting five, no, six episodes, you know, with Citric and, you know, my boy Vic Damone and everybody that got involved. Um, and then... uh you know, fucking, you know, we're doing premieres at fucking Mad Chinese Theater and like, dog, you know, I, you know, like we all come from like a neighborhood, right? Like right. we all, you know, like at least, you know, I like, I grew up, you know, first, like, you know, first, first generation Mexican American, dog, right. you know? Pobre llegamos, güey, you know? Pero con un chingo de, de querer y de decir que pues si se puede, you know? <laughs> and, you know, though, you used to watch TV as, like, I used to watch TV as a kid, and I used to see things like Hollywood and, like, man, Chinese theater, bro. And, dog, I lived, I lived in the van in San Fernando. It's only 10 minutes away. But you know how fucking far it seemed to me? Yeah, yeah. Forget about the far. I used to think that it was so expensive to go watch a movie at the man Chinese theater that I didn't even really fucking attempt it to go. Come to find out it costs the same as to go anywhere else. Right? <laughs> The popcorn might be a little more expensive, right? But if you would have told me, dog, 
at 12, 15 years old, dude, you're gonna one day you're gonna see your face on the screen of the Man Chinese Theater where Charlie Chaplin and all the greats have played their fucking movies. I will yeah. tell you, all the greats, bro. You're fucking insane. I'd, I'd be yeah. like, dude, you're crazy, bro. Get the fuck out of here. I'm just gonna go keep doing nonsense and smoke weed, <laughs> which is exactly what I did. <laughs> yes. And dog, and to see that my my fucking face, dude, my fucking head's like 40 feet big, dog, on the screen. And my fucking parents are watching this shit. Hell yeah. Know? So yeah, dude, it was, you know, like, I love that show, man. That show's opened up so many doors. We're doing we're doing Comic-Con in December. I just got... Uh, the San Diego one? L.A. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, I got nominated for uh, an award for uh, Best Actor in a Sketch Comedy um, uh, with Official Latino, uh, being backed by HBO Latino. And we leave to New York. On the thirtieth, to hope to hopefully I win, man. Hopefully I win. So we're gonna have a fucking Chicano in New York, and hopefully I win this fucking award, man. And if not, no, no pasa nada. No pasa nada. No pasa nada. Porque si se puede. We're gonna keep pushing and and, and working and, and you know to try to do something better. You know to try to do something that's even if it doesn't win an award. You know what, dude? It's 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 not a, it's not about the award. It's can I win the people's hearts? That's dope. Because ultimately that's what matters. You know yes. What I'm nobody's yes. gonna nobody's gonna see the award at my house. Right, right, right. Doesn't matter, right? But well, you know, you know what people see is the body of work. You know right. what I'm saying? Now, 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 where can people see this? Uh, it actually comes out on Tubi, which is a free application. You could do it on your uh, what is it on any fucking platform on your TV or Xbox or PlayStation. It's called Tubi, and it'll be on Tubi, I believe, the 24th of this month, man. So we actually dropped my first TV show ever. I just got called to do a Hulu. I don't even know. I'm supposed to say this. But don't say it. But I'm already there. <laughs> Anyways, I just got casted to be, well, not casted, it's, I don't guess it's formally casted. To play the Mexican Tarzan? Uh, yeah, uh, for a TV show for Hulu. So. Okay, dope, dope, yeah, dope. So, you got so things are moving, and then, I, I mean, I got two movies coming out. You know, I got uh, Orchata and Noma with me, Duno. You know I mean? I'm, I'm pretty sure you guys have, you know, seen them on, on Instagram, Duno's World. Uh, Jerry Garcia's in the movie. Um, Emilio Rivera, and then... I know I got another, oh yeah, I'm working on my first serious role called Sam's Cry, where I play a uh, drug-addicted uh, Rolling Stone rock star dad, um, where it, it kind of brings out, like, the worst in a person, so. Really? Yeah, when I first saw the scenes, like, when I saw the playback, like, they sent it to me, edited it, and I was like, who the fuck is that guy? Yeah, yeah, exactly. And it was me, dog, like, I was fucking beating up my wife in the scene, so. It's crazy, dude, but, it, but, I, but I love this shit, dude, like, it's fun as fuck, you know? That shit is fucking dope. I didn't know all that shit, but I'm glad you're promoting it here. Yeah, man. Yeah, it, a, lot of, a lot of that stuff is exclusive, man. People have really haven't heard that yet. So. Okay, now, 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 let me answer this because people obviously is going to be coming out on the 24th on Tubi of this month, and uh, uh, like how how long ago did you guys film that? Which one? The the Ghetto Busters. It, that's been a year in the making, a year and some change, bro. Okay, and it was so funny because at this time I was doing really bad, like financially, and I think I was living at my dad's house. <laughs> You know, like, this is, like, I think it was, like, uh... During the pandemic? Nah, I was doing bad before the pandemic. <laughs> now, that's a good one. Andamos valiendo verga a long time ago, my Shit, <laughs> shit that shit's dope. No, nah, and I don't mean, like, you know, where I'm living in the streets or nothing. I'm just saying, like, you know... You're in your fucking thirties, man, and you you are trying to live this fucking dream, you know, and like, you know, like your thirties, you know, you're in your thirties, and you got kids and a wife, and uh -huh. you know, you're just like, what the fuck am I gonna do? Like, I gotta figure something <laughs> out in life. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah, all of I course. know, like, all I know is entertainment, Tony. Like, that's all I know how to do. Like, I've been DJing since I was thirteen and rapping and. You know, I, I, I like I didn't go to school for like anything specific. Like all I know is entertainment, right? right so it's right. like when you, you know, I started thinking like, what the fuck am I gonna do, man? I'm, I'm in my thirties. I'm not financially where I want to be, right. and I see all my other homies and, and you know friends and family, and they're like, they're doing all right. You know, they're all right. Like they got four hundred one ks and they got insurance and they got all this shit. You know, and you're just like, throw yeah, like right here, like, like twiddling your fingers trying to just live the fucking dream, and then. um you know, one thing leads to another, man. And now, now, do you think you're like there, or do you think you're you, you're around the corner from making that motherfucker big? I, I mean, I think everyone is away. I, I think everyone is one chess move away from doing any doing anything. You know, right? Um, 
But obviously, yeah, I mean, I have, I have, I've, I've been, I've been at this chessboard. I've been playing this chessboard for 15, 17 years of my life. Like I've been in this industry longer than I, you know, like, ha- like more than half my life. Yeah. So like, I think I, I think I found what the niche is and what I'm good at and how I'm maneuvering. You know, they say like, you know, you know, you're a teen and you know, you're just having fun in your teens and your twenties, you're trying to figure shit out. You're fucking up in your thirties. You learn shit and you know, like in your forties, you apply everything, you know? So I think I'm everything I learned in my teens, twenties. I kind of applied it in my late thirties, kind of you know deal. You know, I'm not late thirties. I'm before mid thirties. Right, right. <laughs> uh, 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 let's go ahead and read that question that you post, posted up. Okay, um, I asked, do you like Pulp Fiction? And uh, 112 votes, 74 percent. Hell yeah. Hell Say, yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> and 26 um, percent said Charlie. Dope. I'm looking at the comments. Sorry, uh, sorry guys. I'll it's stay closer. Hey, Alex, do me a favor. Go give me that tequila bottle, please. All right, got you. Hey, and I, and I got you a shot in case he wants a shot. I put him out right there, you know, right there where the where the little my my little bar tables at. So she can't no no. But uh, um, you, you know what? I was told in third grade that I should I should be a comedian, and honestly, I never thought music for me was my thing, and that's why I'm still involved in music. But I like to fuck around and make people laugh. She said, "Puede." Hmm? <laughs> what? I was reading the comment, fool. I thought you were talking to him still. No, no, I'm still talking to myself. I'm just practicing. Oh shit! I thought you were. No, no. Okay, here. You want to get your? You want to get yours real fast? Go ahead. Oh shit! Tell you guys are taking shot a lot. You know. <laughs> so, <laughs> hey, you, you want a shot, big dog? Right there. Go ahead. It's a, the skull. Yeah. So, uh, no, but. Like I said, you know what? Uh, me, I love comedy, and that, that actually came from my dad. But for me, music was actually, I feel, my calling, and that also came from my dad. My dad was a very, very multi-talented dude, but I just think he was so talented that he didn't have direction. He, he didn't have the wisdom to, like, let me pursue it and do it this yeah. way. No, I'm, yeah, I mean, you know, everybody, like, I think everybody has a passion, kind of like, todos tenemos una pasión, güey. But it doesn't mean it's your fucking calling, you know? And that's just the reality of things, you know? You can have a passion. Like, I had a passion for rapping and making music, though. It doesn't mean it was my calling. My calling has definitely been music. That's where I, I mean, a uh, 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 comedy. comedy. You know, comedy has has elevated my career. It has put me in places where I've never been before. Uh-huh. And I've been in this industry for a long time. And right. it's taken comedy for me to actually get out there. You know, get out there and, you know, be a little more financially stable. So, yeah, I mean, if you're telling me that comedy is, is where it's at, it's definitely where it's at, Perillo. Hey, hey, uh, so, so let me ask you this. Um, so once again, DJing, you DJ in front of a lot of people. You rapped in front of a lot of people. So you're saying that comedy going up there, it's a whole different other beast. Yeah. Okay. Because I know um, it's the, uh, Cedric, I was talking to him, and I would ask him, like, how long do they give you? And he said, oh, like, either five minutes or seven minutes. He says, all depends. Mm-hmm. And I said, does it seem like a long time? And he was like, yes. Yeah. So. Five uh, minutes. Oh, five minutes seems like fucking 30 minutes up there no shit yeah especially when they ain't laughing <laughs> okay now when you went up there and, and and you the way you said you panicked and left mm-hmm. and then you finished off the night did, did it make you go home and, and think like a whole different other respect now for comedians nah i've always had the respect for comedians like it was never i never downplayed the you know what it took to be a comedian. Like, I never downplayed it at all. Salute to your career, bro. Thank you, brother. Appreciate it, man. I'll take this shot with you. Sponsor? Mm-hmm. Okay. The one talk, we'll, we'll say it's good, then. It's pretty good. Do you have or no? Mm. Okay. You know, I'll take I'll take a cup. How about that? Yeah, let's get a cup, Alex. Thank you, brother. I got the red cups over there. Thank you guys, I appreciate it. Shout out to Ashley Alvarez. She's on. She's on the chat. She's mm. an actress. She was here. Yeah, yeah. We're working on the project. That's uh, dope. Thank you. I, I don't know if I could speak on it, but yeah. maybe maybe she could come and speak on it. Okay. Eventually, but we'll her, her father. Yeah. Let me give a shout out to Car- Carmela Alvarez. A- absolutely, yeah. yeah. Shout out to Carmela, man. Uh, actually, we're related. We have the same last name. No relation to Canelo Alvarez. I wish. Mm. So I could borrow some money. Calculus scared of the shot. Yeah, motherfucker, I got to drive, cabrón. <laughs> Who are your favorite... Okay, can I answer the question? Yeah, go over it, go over it. Who are your favorite comedians? Fuck, I hate that dale, question. Dale, 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 dale. And it's not that I hate that question, right? But 
Es que, like, son un chingo, güey. Like, like There's I, so many. I've gotten inspiration from so many, right? Like, growing up, like, my parents used to listen to uh, Polo Polo. You know what I'm saying? Right. And, if, and if you're Mexican or Mexican-American, you might know Polo Polo. Like, that dude has some of the best fucking stand-up comedy ever. Like, that, to me, he's one of the greatest. Obviously, the Chappelle's, the George Lopez of the world, you know, the Felipe Esparza. Like, all these guys have been... Big in my career, you know, definitely Chappelle, like, you know, fuck, dude, like, man, man you know, I don't want to say I, I want to model my career after a Chappelle, but if I see anybody as someone I would like to emulate, you know, it's like Kobe didn't want to be Jordan. Of course, of course. But he, he played with the same tenacity that Jordan did, right, the same mindset, and I think that my mindset is like on some Chappelle shit where it's like, I want to do sketches. I want to push the envelope like he did. And, 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 you know, now I'm attacking this fucking stand up shit. So yeah, like I think, you know, he's definitely like, okay, now let me ask you, mark let me sure ask you a me, question. You know? Did you watch his last stand up? Yeah. Okay. Uh, um, there was a lot of controversy sur surrounding that. Oh God. You want to talk about that? See you, Okay. What, what, what do you think it was the big deal, bro? What the fuck? Where's, where's the beer, my guy? The talking. <laughs> <laughs> I picked it up. Hey, I, I picked it up. Con todo el así lo ve. No, no. Been the talking yeah, and the Pacifico. Uh, uh, I know there's a lot of controversy because some of the shit that he said. Do you think that was just more hype, or do you think that was real shit? What? As far as some of the shit that he said. Dog, you know, like me personally, you know, I again, obviously, I'm not trans. So I'm not offended by it, right? right? right. Like I don't, I, like I don't have a, I don't have a dog in the fight. You know what I'm saying? I don't, I don't have it. To me, it's not this way or that way. You know what I'm saying? Right. Um, I happen to have gay people in my family, right? right? Um, and you know they, like they weren't offended by it. You know what right, I'm saying? Right. Like they weren't offended by it one bit. I think we live in a society right now where. You can say the slightest thing and it might get taken out of context or, yeah. you know, it's like comedians, like we can't say shit no more. We can't do certain things no more because like, this I know how to, you know? Very true. Um, but I think he's still being a comedian. And I think when you listen to what Chappelle said, he was saying how he had a friend that was a trans friend right, right. and how he, he respected her. Like, so I don't know what more people want. For him, you know, for him to say, yo, I accept you as who you are. Right, right. I'm just clowning. Right, and if you can't take it, then don't watch my shit. Right, it's Period. like it's like it, like if you don't want to hear me tell jokes, don't come fucking see me at the comedy club. Right, if I don't want to eat a fucking Big Mac, I'm not gonna go to McDonald's, bro. If you don't want to get scared, don't go to Not Scary Farm. That's all I'm saying. Right, and, and I think that's what Chappelle's trying to get across. And but because we live in a fucking culture where it's like everything was shout out to Jay Slide. He said, "Give me a shout out." So there. <laughs> uh, Right now, anything you say, dog, can be fucking... I know, I know. You know, it, it, it could be twisted and, you know, cancel culture is crazy. I mean, me, I, I I do my comedy. I do what the fuck I want. I don't I don't bite my lip and I don't try to do... Obviously, I try to be respectful and mindful of the of, of how the world is right now, but I still I still do me, you know what I'm saying? Right, right. Like, there's only, I think, one thing. I, I don't know if we talked about it on the show last time, but... Um, I don't know if you know the you know the followers know this character by the name of Sepillin. I love Sepillin, of course. Okay, so Sepillin, right? I talked to my cousin P. I was like, P, I'm trying to do Sepillin. What do you think? He said, Fucking do it. Arrasa's gonna love it. They know Sepillin, you got the long hair, put it down, do the makeup. I said, that's the problem. I said, that's the problem. Yeah. Right? If I go and let my hair down, put on a black fucking face. I know. And then put on a fucking uh, a clown nose and my white mouth. They're gonna be like, "Hey, this fool's doing fucking blackface." I know. Not the raza. No, I know. But all my other followers. Yeah. The people that are not Mexican that don't know who the fuck Sepin is, all they're gonna see is me, concrete, doing blackface. <laughs> they're not gonna sit there and ask, and they're like, "I wonder how, what he's trying to do here." I, 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 can somebody? Nobody's gonna fucking ask, bro. They're gonna be like, "What the fuck?" Right. Concrete just threw his fucking career down the toilet. You're gonna down get, the toilet. You're going to get canceled. I'm going to get canceled before it even takes <laughs> off, bro. So I decided not to do Sepillin because of that. It's I was tough. like, you know what? I'm going to save it. You know, and then what happens? Sepillin passes away. Yeah, that was, yeah. And I didn't do the skit, you know. 
But it is what it is. You, you, you know which one of my favorite stand-ups of all fucking time? Well, first of all, one of my well, probably my top favorite comedians, probably Richard Pryor, and then Eddie Murphy. But if I had to choose between either one of them, I well, I would say Ty. But do I, who do I listen to more now? Eddie Murphy, whenever I do listen to comedy or watch yeah. movies more. Pero Delirious to me was one of the greatest stand-up comedies ever. Mm. Uh, I don't know if you ever watched Delirious. Yeah. He said so much shit on there. Now, I don't know if this is true, but somebody told me that he recently, when I say recently, maybe within the last year or so, he actually apologized for all the, the degrading jokes that he said back then in the 80s. Yeah. From Of course it did. Look, somebody said, I think Sepillin can be easily explained. That's the whole thing. Yeah, that's the whole thing. If I got to explain myself after a fucking joke, yeah. I'm not doing it. Mm -hmm. If I got to sit here and explain to you like, hey, guys, by the way, just so you guys fucking know, uh, this is a fantastic singer that was in my childhood at every birthday party growing up. We don't give a fuck. And you, did, you know what I'm saying? That's what I'm saying. If I have to explain myself, dog, right, I'm, right. I'm, fucking, I'm, I'm fucking done. <laughs> I'm, I'm fucking done, bro. One skit, just like that. Blackface, get them, get the fuck out of here. Get his and ass out And then there goes Chevy. There goes my McDonald's contract. There goes my Taco de Superior. Shout out, Taco de Superior. Yes. There goes to all my contracts. For the loom, everything. I only have three. Taco de Superior, McDonald's, and Chevy. Okay, okay. Hey, so you... AB you, Chevy. AB Chevy, Taco de Superior. Shout out to Lancaster Palm Dome. What up? Would you say um, cancel culture um, uh, is out of control? You know, of when course, it's out of fucking control. What do you mean? Absolutely, dude. It's it's fucking insane, dog. You know, dog. I come. You know, like I, I come from. I, I'm. I, '90s kids are the are, are the last generation mm -hmm. where we went into the fucking lights went on, and maybe. Right. We were the last kids. The '90s kids were the last kids to actually bike ride with pegs across the fucking city and come back, and your parents went tripping. Yep. When is the last time you've seen 10 year olds fool on a bike mobbing down the street? It no. just doesn't fucking happen, bro. Why? Because, well, for one, it's crazy out there. Two, they got fucking VR now. They got Xbox. They got all this shit, bro. I don't want to be, I don't want to be outside no more. Right, right. <laughs> I think I do social media. You know what I'm saying? Look, you're in your podcasting, bro. See? Before, fool, you would have been out there. Selling rocks. Selling rocks, drinking selling 40s rocks. at the fucking corner. <laughs> I got no bottles. Exactly, bro. Exactly. You bro. know, and you know what's funny? Somebody said cancel isn't a culture. Right. I get it. It's not a culture. It is what it is, right? It is what it is. But I remember my, I think, seventh grade teacher saying, oh, because I, I remember she was buying her fucking groceries, bro, on Amazon. And I was like, and she was like, yeah, guys. Class, guess what I just did? I bought an eggplant. I just bought my groceries on Amazon. We we're like, what? Yeah, on the internet. That's a good commercial. And we we're like, what the fuck? We we're like, that's crazy. She's like, yeah, they're going to drop off my house. It's like, that's fucking crazy. I poured her, fool. I poured her. Mm. Right? All right. And she was like, one day the internet is going to control the outside world. Tony, when was the last time you seen the fucking internet? The last time I seen the internet? We're when on was it. the last time you seen the fucking internet? We're never. On it. You've never seen it. You've never seen a fiber optic cable. Or no, but never, never. No. Right? You're right. We don't know what the fuck. Do you know how it works? You don't fucking No, know I don't even know how to build the VCR. No. To, no, you don't know how the fucking internet works. No, I don't. You just know that when you turn on your fucking Wi Fi, log in, you can start talking shit and hating on people on Instagram. Exactly. Right? You've never seen it. Right? You've never seen the fucking internet. Nobody's right. ever seen it. Just like you've never seen air, but you know it's there because it hits your face. Nobody's ever seen direct deposit either. <laughs> right? But it's there. Just like God. <laughs> right? You never seen God. Right, but he's there. But he's there. Right. Right? You never know what he, you don't know what he looks like. Right. But he's fuck but he's there. God's there, right? Yes. So going back to the internet, she said the outside world, the regular world is gonna be controlled by the internet. And it's never been more true than now, bro. So was she a prophet? No, she just saw the fucking she she the understood future. she understood where, where the times where where the where the times and the culture were going, bro. Right. Because everything that happens now on the internet, if you do whatever you do in the world, uh -huh. and if it's caught and put on the internet, your life is fucking over. Mm -hmm. The internet controls what happens in real life. So you better be careful, bro. Or, or somebody will go back to your tweet from 2008. From 2000 and, and be like, oh, look at this motherfucker. He was a racist back. He's racist 12 <laughs> years ago. He was a Mark Furman. Get you rid of his saying? ass. 
Bro, everything is controlled by the internet now, bro. It yeah. is. It is. Even public opinion, bro. Yes. Public opi internet opinion can change laws now. Do you understand how crazy that fucking is, bro? That I can I can start just jabbering some shit and then they'll change the law just because I, I feel offended by it? Yeah. I don't like that stop sign. Because it's fucking red. And red is blood, and I am traumatized because I've seen so much blood in my life. And then, what, 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 what the... And that, so now we're going to change stop signs, right? Yes. Every time I see, I see blood. I'm just saying, bro. Like, what the fuck is going on? Yeah. But, right, yeah now, you're, right now, Travis Scott is being canceled. Oh, yeah. Travis Scott is being canceled. So... All right. So what's going on? Cancel culture? Okay, obviously, people are talking about cancel. What the fuck is cement or concrete? Well, concrete... And I'll explain my name real quick so that those that are, like, fucking weirded out, like, why the fuck do this guy this called concrete? Like, who right? is this guy? Like, right? Why I used to go Because he's solid? I used to go... Oh, yeah, I guess. We're so, about well, to cancel him. I'm fucking punchline, the guy on the mic over oh, there. Oh, Now I'm fucking with you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm fucking with you. <laughs> nah, I'm Stole just your saying, thunder. You know, I was going through a tough time. <laughs> I grew up. I got smarter, you know. And just like concrete, when, once you let it sit and you let it get hardened, you can build on top of it. You need a foundation in order to build. Without a foundation, you can't build. So that's why I'm, I'm called concrete. That's that's basically in, in a nutshell. So moving on from that question. That was good. I like that. Yeah. That was good. Don't ask that question again, you guys. Okay. Um, so now. Uh, fuck. What the fuck? Well, that's that's true. MVD. But I noticed how casually, easily they clown, but get sensitive when it's turned back on them. Just watching from the outside. Okay. I, I, I don't know what the, what the comment was. Okay. I, I'll tell you what. People that want tolerance are not very tolerable. Think about that for a second. People that want tolerance are not very tolerable. Mm -hmm. You know, and that's one thing that I've learned. Like somebody can say, you know what? I want to be tolerated. I feel that this is this, this is this. Is this. But the moment you disagree with them, they fucking come against you. They won't even tolerate you, but they want to be tolerated. Yeah. Well, I, I don't, I I don't want to speak on the subject, but. Yeah. So. I mean, yeah, again, you know, that's, you know. Again, I don't, I don't try to touch too many political issues because I'm not a fucking... Politician? I'm not a politician. I'm not a scholar. I'm not educated in that shit. So it's like, what the fuck do I know, right? Like, I, I try to stay away. From, even on social media, bro, I, I try to stay away from politics because, again, right. what the fuck do I it, know, It'll right? piss a lot of people off. Because, because then, you know, like, trust me, I've tried to talk about politics, right? Uh-huh. Like, oh, here goes a fucking comedian thinks he knows. And I'm like, okay, then never mind. Give up. I give never up. Mind, then never fucking mind, right? And then never mind, right? Because I try to stand up for you guys. Yeah. And then somebody was like, what the fuck does he know? Exactly. He's, like, he's just a comedian. You don't like, even Like, I'm not a real person outside of this or something, right? right? Like, I'm not a fucking regular guy that shits and eats just the same way they do, right? Like, somehow I don't fucking know anything because I'm a comedian. But, you know, like, that's why I try to stay away from politics, man. And you know what I do? I do the best I can on my own. You know, when I do events and, you know, and, 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 and hand out grocery bags and help families and I, I do it on my own time I don't I don't do it on social media I don't That's need dope. the cloud I don't need none of that shit you know so concrete how do you write a joke what's the formula for a good joke with a, a pen and a paper <laughs> yeah I don't even write my jokes bro to be honest I everything kind of it, it's, it's a I write jokes but I don't sit there and like pen mm -hmm. them out he freestyles them. I'm more like I come up with the concept and I come up with like this might be a dumb thing I'm gonna ask but I do it all the time do you talk to yourself a lot I think we all do, Tony. Everybody okay. talks to themselves. You, you think so? Have, what? Yes, bro. No, honestly, Tony, Tony, Tony. Tony, Human, Tony, Tony. Humans, humans. Okay, us as grown-ups. Okay, <laughs> we, we 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 never grow up. We just know how to act in public. Mm -hmm. you, 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 you see what I'm saying? I think. Yeah, bro. Like we just know how to act in public, bro. But we never grow up, bro. Do you talk to yourself? Yeah. See, I thought I was everybody talks. To you. Everybody talks to themselves, bro. Even in the fucking shop. Even when you're just looking for shit, you're like, it's, "What the, what the it's, fuck did I leave that goddamn fucking?" The fuck? No, I'm not everybody, talking about that. Everybody talks to themselves. No, I, I even can, if it's a little bit. Dog, who the fuck are you talking to? You're trying to rationalize with the other fucking voice in your head. Where, yes, no matter what, you're always talking to yourself. Where's that voice coming from? It's your conscience. It's another world, Tony. So let that conscience be your guide, huh? <laughs> let that conscience yeah. be your guide. Yeah, hell yeah, I talk to myself a lot. I think that's why I rational. That's I have, dog, I have the, arguments. Boom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, <laughs> that's what I'm talking about. 
And I'd be losing too. Yeah. <laughs> I'd be losing arguments with myself. Do you ever be like, Vete la verga, pinche. Fato culero, mamón. Yeah, fuck you. Then no I'd be like, Who the fuck was I talking to? Yeah, especially in the mornings when I'm trying to get up, like, I'm like, Vales verga, pinche huevón. Ya no más, ya son las ocho. Ya no se te para, cule. Fuck. Hey you, hey, you know, hey, you know what fucking skit was fucking hilarious? Yeah. Apa, ¿qué están haciendo? ¿Están haciendo amor? El amor, yeah. Oh, my God. That fucking, that motherfucker was hilarious, bro. That shit was hilarious. Yeah, dog. But fuck yeah, dog. Like, yeah, like this guy. People talk to their fucking dogs. So dogs I, understand. Oh, I, I believe that, but I don't yeah. have dogs. I never grew yeah, up with no, dogs. I think, no. I had piranhas. Yeah, I think dogs understand. It's just, they you know, do. It's like when you talk to a fucking, like, snake, and it's like the snake's just like... Yeah. No, they go. S- that's a little weird. You know. <laughs> okay. It's like that's a little weird. like when you talk to a fucking like hamster, like that motherfucker doesn't know. But a dog, a dog knows what's going on. So a dog, when you say no, he's like, I like a Okay, let me ask you this. Nineties kids, you talked about nineties kids. What about nineties kids, Tony? Let me ask you a, a kid question. Did you ever play with army men? Army men. Oh, like the little green one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think I had a daughter to pay. G.I. Joe? Okay. Yeah, those are fucking cheap, isn't that? Yeah, that, army that, men. That, okay. That, that's that's I think that's that. where my talking to myself started. Though we all talk to ourselves. It was like, matalo. I used that. Yeah. Only, yeah. But what about only crazy people talk to themselves? No, 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 no. That's no, different no, crazy? No, 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 no. You go to the hospital see, for the, that. See, see, <laughs> the, see, no, no, hold on. The only people that talk to themselves, <laughs> like crazy like that, is because they've lost all who gives a fuckness from them. Hmm. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Because you know not to talk to yourself in front of people because then you look crazy. And you don't want to seem crazy to people. But everybody talks to themselves, bro. We just don't do it in front of people because we don't want to look fucking crazy. That's all it is. I'm I'm talking to myself right now inside. Like, bro, what are you talking about? I heard that. (laughs) I just heard that. (laughs) He said, Vete la verga. And I was like, what? Yeah, I'm just saying. Yeah, see, people that talk to ants. Okay, well, I don't know about all that. But Diaz? Yeah, imagine. No, yeah, Diaz. <laughs> yeah, okay, what's another good question, bro, that we need to ask uh, the, uh, the public out there? Yeah, what about it, what? What's another good question that we can ask out there so we can take a poll? I don't know. How, 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 do you talk to yourself? Do you okay. talk to yourself? Go ahead. Do you fucking talk to yourself? I, I don't okay. think uh, if everybody does. you don't does. talk to yourself, you're a fucking weirdo. Okay, can you ask two questions? Yeah, yeah. If, yo, no, uh-huh. I'm serious. If you don't talk to yourself, you're the weirdo. Alex. Because you don't yeah. have a conscience. C- c- can you ask two questions? Yeah. Okay, number one, do you talk to yourself? Number two, do you play with yourself? <laughs> That's another one. <laughs> now, I want to hear you comment on that. Of course everybody plays with themselves, Tony. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> of course, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be... <laughs> <laughs> I caught you off guard. Huh? <laughs> okay, I know my boy Dad's is probably watching and fucking laughing his ass off. Yeah. So, but uh, yeah, ask those two questions. Do you talk to yourself? Number it's two. Healthy to talk to yourself. A good way to work shit out. Gain understanding. Savior's Road said, "Damn, concrete not even funny once yet. Concrete not even funny once yet." No, you're funny. That's why they said that. Oh fuck! You need to know how to spell Savior's. God damn. Yeah, exactly. A sentence. <laughs> Nah, I mean, dang, concrete, not even funny once yet. Anyways, I Cohesive thought he said, I thought you were funny. Sentences. <laughs> I'm fucking with you, saviors. I'm not everybody's cup of tea, and that's okay. Never play yourself. Yes, I talk to myself. You're only crazy if you respond. Oh, I, I, respond. I respond. I respond. Me too. Oh, yeah. Whether you respond out loud or in your head, you respond. Absolutely. Yeah. I once had a staring contest with my shadow, and I won. Yeah, of course you did. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Anyways, uh, <laughs> I served you another shot just in case you didn't see it, or maybe to that other voice. Oh, yeah. Well, I got 36 minutes. I'll take yeah, it. Just Give me five <laughs> minutes. Tony. God damn. <laughs> Tony knows. Like, Car- the more you drink, the loose, <laughs> the looser, <laughs> goosier you get. Yeah, if you want another one, I got a look. Okay. Hmm. Yes, I talked to myself. Yeah, I'm going to click on that. <laughs> what was that song that talks take about? Take your shot. I want everybody to come and take your shot if you want me to take your take shot. Take your shot. At least 10 of them. At least. Even if you don't like me. Yeah, exactly. It's fine. Comedians have different minds for sure. Anybody who can stand in front of a crowd and make people laugh, for, for that, that, that's a gift. You know what? Like, 
I never intended to make people laugh on stage. I've been, I've always wanted to just make my friends and family laugh. And I right. think my cousin here, he can attest to his yeah. shit, you know? Like, I got, I was doing prank videos at CVS, like, in 2000, 90, like, 99, 2000. Oh, shit. We just didn't have nowhere to put them. That's before YouTube, yeah. dog. Like, YouTube I, like, was I what, 2005, 2006? Hmm? 2005, 2000, YouTube? Yeah, I yeah. was doing Instagram videos like in, like I, like I was doing prank videos yeah. like in 99. To, even before that, huh, dog? That was, that was now, now, would you still happen to have any of those? I'm sure somewhere, yeah. I'm sure somewhere they're there, but I, yeah, like, I'm, I'm sure my dad has a bunch of shit that I've shot like when I was a kid, you know? No, mijo, ya los tiré. Yeah. <laughs> Como cual caja? Johnny D T V. Is that Johnny right there from SA Dead? Um, you know, from um uh... Oh yeah, I'm pretty sure that's him. I'm pretty sure it's him. He he he's another one I gotta bring on. Oh yeah. and my boy Alonso, my yeah. boy Alonso, if that's you, much love to Alonso, my boy from San Diego. So Country, what are your thoughts about Little One and Mr. Shadow? Do you respect them as MCs? Dog, those guys have been around for a long time. You know, like after like whether I'm a fan of anybody's music or not. Like you, you know, like you respect people's hustles, and you mm -hmm. can't hate on that shit. You right. know what I'm saying? Um, I happen to listen to some of the music every now and then. You know what I'm saying? So, I, you know, I know what it takes to be in this fucking industry, dog, for 10, 15 years. You yeah, know what I'm saying? So I respect these guys' hustles. I respect them as MCs, and I respect the music. Like it's, you know, it's it's no, it's like it's nothing different. You know? So okay. Yeah, so yeah. Do I? Yeah. So I respect them for sure. That'll work. That'll work. Uh, uh, well, let me give a big shout out to San Diego. San Diego in the motherfucking building. Also, San Fernando Valley. Canoga Park, to be exact. San Fernando. Uh, um, now, <clears throat> what's the next topic? Think of anything. Know. Think of anything, uh, concrete. Anything you want to talk about? <laughs> Do you believe in aliens? Fuck. Yeah, yeah, let me ask you. Do you believe in aliens? Uh, we're talking about the ones from up there. You know what, I mean, it's like it's a difficult question, right? Because when you think, like, when people say, like, do you believe in aliens? Yeah, okay, then you don't believe in God, right? And I think that's kind of unfair to say, because what about if God made those aliens as well? Right. Why can't you believe right? in both? Yeah, I mean, I think you believe in both. Like, fuck, just, you know, I like Coke and Pepsi. Yeah, you can do both. Exactly. It's fine, you know? Um, do I believe in aliens? I mean, shit. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna ask you a couple of yes or no questions, real yeah, quick. I the, do the, the first answer that comes to your mind: Do you believe in La Llorona? No. Okay. Do you believe in? I don't believe in. I don't believe in the ghost spirit of La Llorona. I believe in maybe it actually being a lady that had that went through something like that. Uh -huh. Yes. Do I believe in the folk tale? No. Okay. Do you believe in chupacabras? No. Do you believe in Bigfoot? No. Do you believe in vampires? <laughs> no. Oh, vampire. No. Vampires. No. Okay. <laughs> I think big, you know, Bigfoot. Like, come on, though. We have so much technology, bro. Nobody's caught him slipping on a camera. No, but and the only picture we have is that one right there. No, it's because he... See that he, picture um, right there, no, Bigfoot? No, that motherfucker's like doing like the Heisman Trophy there's pose. There's no fucking so, way, bro. There's no fucking way. Okay. Uh, He's a shift... Uh, a shape. Shift. God, my day, wait. A shift okay. shifter. Okay, what about do you believe in... The Flying Chariots and... I, I've seen... I've seen all those fucking shows, bro. I'm a, look, dog, when I go home for I geek the fuck out. Yeah. I watch all this shit, dog. Ancient aliens and shit and all it's this It's entertaining. Fucking, I watch all this shit. Oh, fucking Jesus on this blanket. They're going to figure out how long this blanket. I, on this tortilla. I, I geek out on all that shit, bro. Okay, do you believe that there's a the devil, Lucifer, Beelzebub, Satan, Belial? Do you believe that Satan exists? Yeah, <laughs> look, yeah, but I believe, you know, again, man, like, it's how you perceive it, you know, I believe anytime, look, this, 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 I'm going to tell you, like, do you have a, a, a good conscience and a bad conscience? Every time you're about to do something bad or something that is not appropriate or whatever, you think about it. At least the smart ones do or the ones that have a general conscience, right? Right. I believe that we all have that little bad motherfucker saying, eh, just fucking do it. <laughs> Right? Okay, okay. Like, for example, I have this thing. It might be a little weird, all right? My shit's going to get a little weird right now, Tony, Just okay? a little bit. And I hope I never get to do this because this interview is going to come back and just backfire. <laughs> right? And even accidentally, I have this thing about I wanted to feel what's, what it is to run somebody over. Okay. 
I've done it. I get it. You know, as, as a comedian, yeah. I always wanted to feel what it feels like to hit something with your car. I don't know. Boom, boom. It doesn't feel like anything. It's a bump of some sort. It's weird. Like, it's a weird thing to think. But I don't know. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? Like, some people want to, some people, some people want to feel like, you know what it is to bust a gat. Right. To, to burn a hot one. I don't know, right? Me, personally. Or to eat I, a... I don't think, I, I don't want to do it or nothing. Well, of course, of course. But like, you know, because there's there's crazy thoughts. Right. And then there's crazy thoughts that you go through. Those are the motherfuckers that you see on mm-hmm. TV. Right? I think we all have crazy thoughts. It's just that we don't have the guts. Right. We don't have the guts to pull them off. Okay. Definitely don't have the guts. Okay, now here's a couple of more weird questions. I'm going to name three people. You can do it. <laughs> you can do it. Yeah, three people. Go run somebody over. <laughs> Are you familiar with Richard Ramirez, the nice talker? Yeah. Are you familiar with Charles Manson? Yeah. Are you familiar with Jeffrey Dahmer? Yeah. Okay. They call you a ring. Hello. Yeah, we're looking for your concrete. This is him. Um... One of these guys wants to meet you. They get executed tomorrow. And they want one hour conversation with you because they love your work. Are you interested? Mm -hmm. You get to choose only one. Charles Manson, Richard Ramirez, Jeffrey Dahmer. Who would you choose? And do you dare to to have a conversation with them for one hour? Mm -hmm. And it's just you two deputies outside. Jeffrey Dahmer. Okay. What would be one of your first questions if if you had to freestyle a question? If you were if you were so educated, uh, what like you know yeah like what made you kill like being so educated like you know you know you know Jeffrey Dahmer, uh, he based like he lawyered himself. He was his own lawyer. Oh no, you're talking about Ted Bundy. No, but Jeffrey Dahmer did it as well. Really? Okay, because Ted Bundy was the Sorry, educator yeah, at the Ted, law school. You're right, Ted Bundy. Okay, Tim. Yeah. Uh, Okay, fuck Jeffrey so, Dahmer. Yeah, yeah, sorry. Yeah. So I Ted was confused with Jeffrey. Yeah, so so Ted Bundy, yes. he lowered himself in court. Yes, he did. So him being so educated, like, why would you take this fucking road, dog? Like, <laughs> like, like, how, you know how there's, there's smart people, right? Like, I know there's, dog, I know some really smart people. Yes. But they're socially dumb. Yeah, they, they, they lack common sense, bro. They, 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 uh, you know what I'm saying? Like yes. they're just so smart, so fucking smart. Yeah, they're 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 dumb in the streets. Like they wouldn't survive. No, you're absolutely right. Because I know a fucking like, lot of people like that. They wouldn't see a, a robbery coming a mile away. Can, can, can you say a smart? <laughs> you know what I'm yeah, saying, though, like a smart dumbass. Yeah, like yeah, I believe there's people that are so smart that they're stupid, dog. Like they yeah. just they're they're so smart. Yeah. that they don't like all this other shit that we worry about. They wouldn't even understand it. They're just like right. what. You know, think with Ivan and Seputo, and they're like, what? What? Like, oh, hey, hi, how are you, how are you doing? Bah! <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, they wouldn't see a stick of coming from a while away. And in the hood, like, we know that right, shit, right? right? They should have warned but me about the puto. But they would probably see it as in, like, oh, this guy's trying to be friendly. Yeah. Why is everyone running? <laughs> Where'd everybody go? Do you think the earth is flat? God damn. <laughs> You, you know what? Your chest is flat. Oh. What you need to do is go to the gym, work on a little bit of incline, flat bench, <laughs> and decline, and it won't be so flat. But anyways, you want to answer that? Do I think the earth is flat? I'm yeah. not going to lie, dog. For like a split second before I really... Be honest, perro. Well, I was a flat earther for at least a good six months, my guy. No shit? I was like, yeah! What the fuck? Yeah, that's right. I mean, well, it's because... Okay, right? Th- you know, this is one of the flat earthers. They're like, okay, look. So, the earth is spinning that way, right? Uh-huh. Spinning left to right, going that way, right? Right. Basically clockwise, right? Not counterclockwise. Right. Clockwise, right? So, if I'm traveling from New York to LA, right? I should get that the same amount of time, right? But if I'm traveling from LA to New York and the earth is, is, is going the opposite way as me, the spin should get me closer as I'm going closer, right? So if I'm, yeah. if this is spinning and I'm going this way, then why is it the same amount of time, right? Or like, for example, when I went to Sweden, uh, they didn't want to go over Canada, so we went over the other way. And I started thinking about all these map sequences and all this shit, and I'm like, yeah, they're fucking lying to us. <laughs> <laughs> these motherfuckers. What's going on? This is like a... We live on a fucking lasagna. There's layers to this platform. You know what you, I'm saying? Were yeah. you watching one of those videos on YouTube? 
I watched all of them, fool. Okay. Yeah. I watched yeah, all he of them. He made one. I hey, watched all of them. I almost went to the convention, fool. <laughs> that Earthers convention. I swear to God. Joe, look it Joe up, Rogan though. talked about that. He says that there's people that sound really mm-hmm. educated and they talk and they convince you because there's nobody there to correct them on exactly. the facts. Exactly. Dog, you know, at the end of the day, fool, I don't fucking know, dog. I, I'm not educated. I'm not a fucking scholar. It's round, bro. A, it's round. I didn't go to fucking MIT or nothing, dog. Like, <laughs> The fuck it? Bro, it's oh, round. I, know, I didn't even stay for detention. So, yeah, I don't know shit. <laughs> I don't fucking know. So, okay, Flat Earther. Okay, uh, what was Flat. my next fucking question? They fuck. Okay, so you would take, talk to Dead Bundy. What what fucking made you do it? Yeah, what, like, no, what the fuck? What if he told you? Well, that's a dumb question. What made you be a comedian? Oh, I'd be like, come on, Ted. <laughs> come on, Teddy. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, dude. I think I would just start talking to him. Like, what the, man, what the fuck happened as a child? You know, I think everything we do as grownups, you know, whether we have phobias or anything like that, I think it all happens when we're kids, you know? You think it would be a serious conversation or you'd have to, he'd have to laugh at some point? Yeah, I'd I'd probably try to make him laugh. (laughs) But because he's a hard ass, he'd probably be like, hmm. He probably just chuckle. He'll die inside. <laughs> that was funny. Well, I'm a, I'm a fan of your Instagram comedy, and you're not so funny in person. That's fine, Ted. Who gives a fuck. I do. I'm about to die tomorrow, and I need you to I'll make be like, me laugh. Ted, you can't get no pussy anymore. I understand, but you look pretty good. Yeah, at least real. <laughs> at least real pussy. <laughs> Ted Bundy's doing that. What was it, the fees or something? What do they call those in jail? <laughs> So, concrete, how do you feel about Fools Gone Wild? It's fucking funny. What do you mean? Yeah. It's fucking great. That Fools Gone Wild shit is... As long as there's fools out there in the world... And they're going there, wild? There's be a Fools Gone Wild. What do you want me to tell you? Yeah, exactly. So Yeah, shit's good. Tony, get George Lopez. Yeah, fuck yeah. Get George Lopez. You know me. what? Uh, my boy actually works for his... his um, he's a head of his... Oh, the bakery? The bakery. Yeah, yeah that's my boy. So, yeah. So, we've been talking, but, you know... Uh, uh, I'll tell you who I'm close... No, I'm not going to give no way. Because you know what other podcasters so are how do you feel about George Lopez? You know, when when one of my first skits had gone viral, George Lopez reached out to me. That's dope. And he was like, yo, that's some funny shit. And I was like, oh, damn, that's dope. George, thank you. I was like, yo, I'm from San Fernando, the same city as you, man. He's like, dope, that's dope, man. I'm watching, man. I'm yeah. looking for you type of shit. And I was like, cool. You know, he didn't have to do that, like... He he didn't have to reach out and do any of that shit. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like, I'm gonna ask you, know? you a controversial que- comedy question. Controversial Con- comedy question. Controversial comedy question. <sighs> All you gotta say is next question if you don't want to answer. Okay. How do you feel about Carlos Mencia? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think every comedy comedian. I had okay. I had. It wasn't a running. Okay. Him. Okay. Right. I, I didn't have a run in with Carlos Mencia. Uh, and he and he probably won't remember it because it's so insignificant. Right. 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 Like, right. Okay. Like what, like what happened? Um, I was doing a show. Actually, I was a cameraman, and I was starting to do comedy at this time. So I was starting to maybe go viral here and there. A lot of people didn't know me yet. It's not mm-hmm. like now where I can go somewhere and people recognize me. And shit. Like, so it was, it was before this, right? Right. And uh, I was doing a show in Riverside. And one of my boys, I ain't gonna say his name because I don't want to bring it all up, but right. I got introduced to come up on stage. And he was like, yo, he's one of the funnest comedians right now out. And he, introduced, you know, he introduced me as such, right? So I went up there and I was like, yo, what's up, everybody? And again, people didn't know me like that, but I was right. still, you know, I, I still got the crowd to say, what's up? Um, and Carlos Mencia was gonna come up after me. And I don't think he was really happy with that, mm. considering that I, I wasn't on the I wasn't on the flyer. I wasn't on none of that. Right, you were on the so bill. They, so they introduced they the homie saw me off the stage and he was like, "Oh shit, Congress here, yo, hey, Congress in the building. Everybody say what's up. One of the funniest comedians on IG right now. Who he has, you know, whatever the fuck." And I come up and everybody's like, "Oh, cool, cool, cool." And then I get off and then, you know, I could like, I was handing him off the mic. Right, right. And it was kind of like. You know, I just didn't feel the vibe. It wasn't very like, right, receptive. Know, re- receptive, and I was kind of like, oh shit, okay, cool. It is what it is. Whatever, dog. You know. 
Um, but one thing I can tell you is that I write my own shit. <laughs> Fact. Let's move on. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right. All right. Cool. One day I'm gonna this little Carlos Mencia. <laughs> yeah, one day I'm gonna surprise you, Concrete. I'm gonna show up on stage. Mm -hmm. Yo, coming up to the stage right now, we got some guy that has the most interesting podcast in the world. His name's Tony A. the Wizard, and this is the Golden Hour Shower, and he has the podcast that'll slap you across your fat ass with a fat ass dick. Come on up, Tony A. I'm like, yo, what up, everybody? <sighs> But I'm the one making the ah, noise. With yeah, the of course you are. Because there's only like 15 people in the <laughs> He has his own laugh track, no. too. Man, and 10 of them are... How, how funny is that? Boom, hits the laugh track. <laughs> <laughs> go. I got you right now. He hits the laugh track. Hits himself. <laughs> exactly. And I'll be like, uh, uh, let me tell you a joke. Uh, concrete loves me, so... Yeah, it, it said, what did it say? Carlos Mencio is funnier than Joe Rogan. You know what? I I, I like I have never really like listened to Joe Rogan. You know what? I Me mean, neither. As a comedian, but like, I would I like even, to. Honestly, I didn't even. I wasn't a, and I, and I mean no disrespect. Of course, to Joe Rogan. I just wasn't aware that he did comedy. I just, you know, I don't think a lot of us did, bro. I, like I just thought he called fights for the MMA. Called fights. Uh, Fear Factor. Fear Factor. Why? And a dope ass podcast, bro. Yeah, see, I didn't see. I didn't know he was not a comedian. But yeah, like he he's he's been in the industry for a long time, paid hella dues, and congrats, man. He has like one of the hottest podcasts in the fucking world. I think like it just got knocked off from being number one, but it was like number one for like I don't know how many. Bro, years. but when you got a hundred million, fuck yeah, you number right. one, bro. Yeah, who gives a fuck, you know? Exactly, bro. If I ever get a hundred million, I'm calling you concrete. But I love Joe. Like his fucking podcast is sick, man. Like you know. Exactly, bro. Yeah, I exactly. Mean, so. Yeah, he has dope content. Hey, uh, quick question. Did you guys see that uh, video of uh, Leonardo DiCaprio's uh, girl, uh, Lauren? Jeff Bezos? Yeah. What is she doing? Yeah. She, oh, yeah, that's homegirl from Fox 11. She was, uh, I mean, she was like, gazing at, like... At who? At Leonardo DiCaprio. Yeah, like, Jeff Bezos' wife. Her, fa her face was just, like, gazed, though. Like, okay, but who's Jeff Bezos? He's Jeff the, Bezos the owner of Amazon. Amazon, yeah. Oh, shit. The gazillionaire? Oh, is there such thing as that? Yeah, his girlfriend's Lauren Sanchez. Joey Diaz is great. Sorry, people are asking me like, okay. Joey yeah. Rogan's stand up is really forced and screaming. So, 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 so Alex, uh, show me this after where she was gazing at Leonardo DiCaprio. Okay. okay. Why don't what? Mexicans grow mustache anymore? I don't know. You know what? Let me tell you this. I got brochas. Do they mean well, that's brochas? The whole thing, like brochas. Um, you know, yeah, brochas, right? Me. There's like there's indigenous Mexicans, then there's Eurocentric Mexicans. See, right, the Eurocentric Mexicans have the pinchy brochas, like fucking Pancho Villas and all the European fools right, that right, came right. over here. You look like a walrus. Me, I look like a walrus. I got the fucking Chichen Itza look like fucking Indio Matateno type of shit. Like, I, I got the indigenous look for apenas tengo, it. you know what I'm saying? How many, no, wait, how many, wait, how many fools in the pocket that had a beard besides the guys that were coming in the boats? Exactly. So my look is a little more. I have I have more of an indigenous look. I don't know why motherfuckers can't grow beards. I envy that shit. I can't grow it. Um, mm. we still got that question that my we five o'clock shadow is like seven days compared to a five o'clock compared to somebody that has a beard. <laughs> is it fucking even important to grow a fucking beard? <laughs> okay. Anyway, go ahead, Alex. <laughs> um, okay, so the question we got seventy three votes. The question is, do you talk to yourself? Slash, do you play with yourself? <laughs> <laughs> so the first uh, first answer is um, yes. I talk to I talk and play with myself. Forty eight percent said they do that. Okay. Um, Twenty five percent say I only talk to myself. Ten percent say I only play with myself, <laughs> and eighteen percent said no, I'm boring. <laughs> Hey, at least they were honest. Hey. Okay, let me go. Let's ask, let's ask you don't the, talk to yourself, you have no guidance. Exactly, because if you can't fuck with yourself, <laughs> they only play with, with they them. only play with them. So Okay, let me ask <laughs> uh we gotta ask the cuck question. Is there any cucks? Okay. You know, are you, uh, it, um, you know how to word it. Yeah, I, I have to spell it uh spaced out because they it won't let me spell cucks okay. like, all together. We got cucks on the live chat. So just to let you know. Somebody said that's what we should call ourselves nat nativos, not Latinos. 
Look, I don't yeah. know, dog. Like, me, me neither. Me neither. Me neither. Whether you want to call yourself Chicano, Latinx, or whatever the fuck, this is the thing. Yeah, I know. I know. All I know is that when I go anywhere, they're like, that fool's Mexican. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> you know what I'm saying, fool? Like, you know how hard it is for me to get commercials, fool, like on Univision, right? Right? I, you know how many commercials I've auditioned, fool, for Bud Light, Tecate, all this shit. Fool. I've auditioned for all of them. Oh, my God. I've had so many. But I look to Baisa for them. They want Univision and Telemundo want the guy that looks like... Leonardo DiCaprio? Fucking... Yeah. <laughs> But that looks honest. Latino. Yeah. You, they want the Euro, the Eurocentric Latino. Yeah, I know. They don't want the fucking paisa looking ass fool. You know, they don't want they don't want this fool. They don't want that. They don't want they don't that. They don't want this fool. They want they want the fool that looks Eurocentric, yeah. like William Levy looking motherfuckers. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But like, if they only knew how many people wanted that. What? They they should take a chance on you. I, I yeah, I think Chevy did and Tacos de Superior did <laughs> and McDonald's did. Hell yeah. The regional McDonald's. Yes, <laughs> yes. Okay. Nineteen ninety one, we're at Power One oh six, okay? Yeah. And I gave a shout out at the very end. Baker Boys were giving us an interview and um I said, I'm gonna give a shout out to all my Mexican people out there. So we were taking phone calls. Hey Tony A, I support you, but I'm not Mexican, I'm from Guatemala. What's wrong with that? So I said, okay, uh, my apologies. Uh, how should I address you? You should say to all Hispanic people. That's what this person said. Yo, I'm going to give a shout out to all my Hispanic people. Thank you for supporting me. Got a phone call. Okay. Yo, I'm Mexican, homie. I don't rec I don't uh, address myself as Hispanic. You need to say Latino. All right, cool. To all my Latino people out there. The next fucking phone call, I swear to you. Yo, check this out, man. I'm from Honduras. I'm not a Latino. You need <laughs> I'm Honduras. I'm Honduran. <laughs> so I was like, okay, I'm just going to say Latinos, bro. That's it. That's it. Dog, I don't. I, it's hard, bro. But I don't give a fuck what you identify as. If you identify as a fucking car, <laughs> who the fuck am I to tell you? Who so the fuck am I to tell you that you're not a car? If you want to. If you want to call yourself a Ferrari, you call yourself I'm a, a Ferrari. I'm a transformer. El Ferrari. I don't give a fuck what you do, bro. As long as. You can fucking. Soy el Ferrari. El, el Ferrari, ho. Soy el Ferrari. You know, as long as you fucking contribute to society, don't fucking kill nobody. I don't give a fuck what you do, bro. What the f like, who the fuck am I? Who the fuck am I to tell you who to be? If you want to, if you want to identify as a fucking potato chip, as a potato chip, bro, you go be the best fucking potato chip the world has ever seen. Do not identify me as a man or a female. O sea, a, a, a mí que me afecta, güey, que tú quieras ser potato chip. Do not identify me as a male or female. Okay. You know? Yeah. I identify as a comedian. People are probably like, you're not funny. And that's fine. And that's but, fine. And that's fine, but I still identify as a comedian, fool. Hmm. You know, who gives a fuck? I'm just saying. Okay, at this time. I want to be transracial sometimes. I think I'm Italian. And that, see, that's what I'm saying. Like, right? Yes. What about if one day I wake up and I'm like, hey, Tony. Yes. Forget about it. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just, you know, whatever. It is what it is. You know, I want to be, I want to be the hardest fucking potato chip the world has ever seen. I don't crack or crumble, homie. Exactly. I don't crack or crumble, no, homie. Si se puede. Si se puede, homie. Okay, uh, we come to the part of the show where if you want to. Somebody's going to say take your shot. No, no. no if you want to um, promote your business, if you want to promote your OnlyFans page, whatever. Drop some money on the live chat and we will shout you out. Once again, I always give everybody an opportunity that if you drop a hundred a hundred dollars, you're my next guest. Within the next ten minutes, if you drop a hundred dollars, you're my next guest. And I'll buy the food, I'll buy the liquor, I'll buy I'll, I'll provide the good time. How much you want to bet? These food took one Chicano studies class and they think they know it. I'm gonna be honest, fool. I never taken one Chicano studies. Fool, we you watch YouTube. Fool, you know what? Like, YouTube. You know what? The only time I stepped on the on a on the college campus was uh, what was it, Peps? Okay, yeah. So so me and my cousin went to Mission College. Fool. Mm -hmm. You know we went there. Fool? We went to take credits that we wouldn't get kicked out of high school. We took computer science. Fool. Of course. And in that time, fool, my cousin got because we were at the at the school. Fool, we got hit up by some fools. 
My cousin went in for a fucking a gun charge or some shit. It was a fucking disaster. Here we are at Mission College. We're trying to do better for ourselves. And right, the exactly. devil was yeah. like, hey, guess what? For your cousin's taking a fucking gun charge because we got hit up at school. <laughs> like, what the fuck, bro? Like, anyways, so yeah, no, I didn't take Chicano studies. I don't know nothing. All I know is... I just know what I know. Look, all I know, look, 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 look dog, this is, and this is reality, bro. The only person that knows who you are is the man in the fucking mirror. And Google. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And Google. And Google. Because they know everything. They know. Somebody put Tony Cook in They know what you a. like to watch her porn. <laughs> they know what you like to eat. They know what you, Google Tolo. knows everything about Tolo. us. Other than that, bro, the only person that knows you the best is the, is, is the person in the mirror. And that's a motherfucker you can't lie to. The man in the mirror? The man in the mirror, bro. You can't lie to that motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? Well, Tara Valentine, Tony, take a shot for me. I already did. I'm talking about fools in the yeah. comments. Oh, yeah, whatever, fool. I'm I'm just, fool, I'm, that's my third shot. How do you think I feel right now? <laughs> uh, finish the George Lopez story. Oh, yeah. So George Lopez fucking, so he, so he fucking reaches out. Yeah. He's like, oh, dude, like, you, you know, you're fucking funny. He, he posted my shit. He posted one of my most viral videos, and he posted my shit, and he's reaching out, and I'm like, yo, man, I'm from San Fernando, he's like, yeah, man, that's what's up, man. Like, he's like, yo, like, I'm rooting for you. That's dope. And I'm like, dude, thank you, like, you know? And I've been, we've been in contact to, you know, to shoot a movie together. Dope. And that's the first time I'm saying it. That's, see, that's why I don't be drinking on podcasts, because then I'd be telling people my, my fucking business. But, pero sabes que? <laughs> You're winning, bro, and, and we toasted to, yeah. you know, it, Dope, bro. A beautiful features. So yeah. I want to see you win. You, see, Concrete, let me tell you something. I'm one of those guys that people that I know that are winning, yeah. I'm like, fuck yeah. You know, like, and you know what's crazy, dude, is that, like, people say I'm winning, right? Like, well, but, well, no, 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 but just, see, but, like, go ahead, I, go ahead. Tony, I've been winning since I was 18 and didn't have to have a regular job. Bro, I've been broke as fuck. I'm still winning, bro. I, look, me and my wife, bro. Okay. When when we had barely met, right? Um, my boy had just passed away. You know, you know, he's my hype man and all that good stuff. Right. You know, he had just uh, he had just passed away. He had done. You know, he 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 passed away with an OD. I met my girl, and I fell in love with my girl. And I started living with my girl, doing the whole thing. Yeah. And this is when I was still rapping. I, I, I wasn't doing that good. There was nothing, bro. Like, man, we used to eat one. We used to go to this place in Lakewood, bro. They had one slice of pizza, one piece of chicken, and a soda for two fifty, dog. Bro, I was so broke sometimes, bro, that I would drive, bro, like thirty miles just to go to that place to get filled up. Yeah. Because I know that for two fifty, bro, I would have got that. But I never saw that as me losing. Right, right. I always saw that as an opportunity for me to keep doing my dream, keep following my dream. See, me, a lot of my peers, my you know, a lot of my family, they'd be like, damn, for you're still doing that shit. Like, you know how many times I went to family parties when they're like, you're still rapping, for you're still trying. I, I, I've heard it. Yeah, I got un trabajo, hey, boy. Hey, bro, get a job, bro. Get you a, you know, like, you know, get you a job, get you. Like, you know how many times I heard of that family parties, bro? Right, 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 right. And you know how many times I had to be like, si, sí, pues ahí todavía andamos tratando de hacer tía o tío, pues ahí andamos queriendo ser. Ya, ya mero, ya mero. You know, ya mero, un, con una canción o con un sketch o con una comedia, algo va a salir, you know? And I never saw it as being down. I always right. saw it as I get to do, I get to do what the fuck what I, I love. What I love, yeah. What I love. And it's and it's it's gone by like this. Well, the last fifteen years have gone by like this because I've been doing what I love. The fact that now I'm getting a little bit of change for what I do, yeah, it's just the icing on the cake, bro. Yeah, you, 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 it, it, bro, you I, what I'm saying I'm like, there. I'm there with you, bro. So like I've been winning my whole time, right? Maybe not financially, but morally and mentally, bro. I've been happy as fuck. Yeah, yeah, you know, you, you know and that's a dope thing that you could say. I'm happy because most people are fucking not, bro. Look. I'm so thankful, bro, that I own my own home. Yeah. I got I get to run my fucking podcast from my own fucking little studio right here. And I get to drink all the fuck I want and go back inside and crash and I don't have to go to work the next day. Yeah. And I've been doing that for several years now. Mm-hmm. I lived a retired life. I'm 53 years old, big dog. And I just I just got my new drum machine today. There you go. And I'm still producing. Congratulations, man. Thank you. My like a brand new fucking there drum is. machine. That in that next room right there, that's my studio right there. Uh, let me see. It says right here. Uh, muchas gracias, hermano. I can't wait to go on. I told you. Okay, okay. Let me see. 
What if what if white or black person support Rasa? Do they accept and support it by the crowd they're backing, or is it important to keep it divided? I don't know. You want to look, man. I, I don't give a fuck if you're white, black, Mexican. If you support me or not. Right. Right. Of course. Right. Like, if you if you know how many messages I get, bro. And this is like I'm not trying to toot my own home, Tony. I'm just being completely of course. fucking honest with you. I've, I've had a couple of drinks and I'm being honest with you, right? Yeah. People send me messages, bro, like, hey, bro, uh, I'm going through a bad breakup or I thought about committing suicide last week or, you know, like, I have cancer and, and watching your videos makes me happy. You think I give a fuck about what race you are? Exactly, bro. Exactly. I'm bro, glad- there's these dudes that are fucking hurting, committing suicide on the brink and they see my video and they're like, bro, you fucking saved me today or you saved me last week from killing myself. I don't give a fuck if you're white, black, Mexican, Asian, yellow, red. It doesn't matter to me, bro. Yeah, it doesn't. And it shouldn't matter to you who supports you or not. What I will tell you is that Raza supports everybody. Everybody. Okay? How many people were fucking killed this past weekend at the Ace of Racket concert? No. Nine. Travis Scott. Travis Scott. Sorry. At the, at the Travis Scott concert, right? I, I'm going to say seven out of the nine people that were killed were Mexican or of Latin descent. Yeah. We support, bro. We support. Yeah. All the artists that are not necessarily mainstream at the moment that were right. mainstream 15 years ago. Yeah. We support them. We support them. The Brenton Woods. Who goes to see those concerts? Mexican. Raza goes to see those concerts. Zap. We We are the buying dollar. Whether you're new, uh, oldies, uh, we support the cause, bro. You, you know what I've been preaching here at Rodian Radio? See what I'm saying? That Raza is hip-hop's economy. Yeah, bro, we buy the ticket, we buy the t-shirt, we, we buy the merch, we- and we still go watch a uh, Ice Cube or yeah. DJ Quick. <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm saying? We still pay for that ticket, bro. Brent Wood still makes money to this day because of Rasa, because we still have car yes, shows. Exactly. You see what I'm saying? The yeah, number Rasa one Rasa supports no matter what the fuck is look, going it, on, bro. Look, number because we are loyal consumers, bro. If we when Rasa likes something, bro. They're going to die for it, no matter what. Yeah. Hey, no lie, a lot of the new generation that are not Rasa, they don't... I've asked if they know who Brandon Wood is, and they have no idea. Like, No, they don't. Uh, well, no, no, I'm not going to say Rasa. But, no, but, people that are... Well, okay. Well, because we follow on that type of music, you know, but other look, people that are more on the rap stuff... Right. They don't They don't care to even know what who the fuck Brandon Wood is. I mean, don't get me wrong, like... Like, I get it, bro. Like, everybody supports, right? At that concert, there was white people. There was black. I get it, bro. But for nine out of the ten people, or eight out of the, or seven out of the nine people that died on that concert, to all be Latinos shows you the numbers, bro. You can go to any concert in L.A., and we're going to outnumber the consumer at least seven to ten. <laughs> seven out of ten consumers at a rap concert or at a old... It's gonna be Latinos, bro. That's just the reality of it, right? It's not because we're more in this. No, it's because we buy the ticket. We buy the ticket. Of course. We buy the backstage pass. We buy the T-shirt. We support, dog. And I think the moment that we start supporting our own, we don't need anybody else. We don't need. We don't need to worry about who's supporting you and who's not. Do you see what I'm saying? Right. That's why, to me, like, I don't care if you're black, white. It doesn't matter, bro. Right. Like, whoever's going to support me is going to support me at the end of the day. You know if what you I'm can saying? bless somebody, help somebody, bro, you know what? That's it, bro. That's all that matters, That's bro. all that matters. You That's know? That's matters. Um, so, uh, let me give a shout out to, at least in my opinion, the number one promoter nationwide, Bobby D. So, oh, yeah. I'll give a shout out to Bobby D. Mm-hmm. Okay? So. Yeah, like, they just called me, man. Um, literally, just um, Ryan from Bobby D. Shout out to Bobby D, man. Dave gave me an opportunity to host so many concerts, man. Like 17,000 people. Big like, ass concerts, bro. Big ass concerts. Sold like, out concerts. Never did I see myself. Again, if you would have told me, hey, Concrete, or, or <laughs> hey, Crisito, because my name is Christian, Crisito. Crisito. And I'm 10 years old. One day, you're going to introduce Ice Cube. Chale ese. You're going to introduce them to a crowd of 15,000 people. I would have been like, man, get the Fuck, let me go do this Nas. (laughs) (laughs) 
Man, let me go drink this. Fill my balloon. Steel reserve Fill up quick. my balloon. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> yeah. Shout out to a chat that no milk cats. Um, so yeah, I mean, like Bobby D's gave me the opportunity to be able to go and 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 host these shows, man. Shout out to the whole team, man. Shout out to, you know. I know you watching, man. Dude, just shout out to the whole fucking team at Bobby Absolutely. Jesus, man. They all support me. And they actually called me the, today. And they want to know if I would like to host Mount Westmore with Snoop Dogg. <laughs> hey, big dog. You know what? If you are, <laughs> yeah, I will see you there Saturday. Yeah, I swear to God. Look, I ain't even going to lie. Well, it's on, my, it's on no, my phone. but I will see you there Saturday. Yeah. So so they want to know if I'm down to host a little bit of it. And uh, I said, of course, man. If I can be down, man. Hell what yeah. color 501s? Blue? What do you mean? Blue. I'll go out there and I'll do the kick worm while you're introducing the moment. <laughs> 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 yeah, bro, I'm glad you're here. But look, I, I cannot have you here without giving a shout out to my boy. It's a Daz. Spanish of course, man. Once again, my guy, man. One, more, one more shout out to It's a Daz from the Harbor area. John and D from my neighborhood. Yeah. Uh, once again, uh, Mokes. Once again, thank you for being Dining with the Wizard. Check out Mox's, uh Dining with the Wizard. We, he was just here last week. So much love, much respect to all you guys. Yeah, man. And I always tell this story about Daz. Yeah. When I started doing music videos, well, I wasn't doing music videos. I, I was doing, like, small little documentaries, like, just, like, little hip-hop wannabe documentaries. I was just trying to figure it out, you know? Yeah. And um, uh, Daz ended up doing a song with my girl called Crush for the movie Philly Brown. Okay. Right, so it's on the soundtrack of the Philly Brown movie. Okay. Right, so Daz, and I was kind of like, man, who is this fool doing a song with my girl? You know, and, and I ain't gonna lie, like, you know what I mean? You know, homie's buff, he got green right. eyes and shit, and I was, I was all hating, I was like, what's up blue with eyes. this fool? Oh, blue eyes. Blue eyes. So I'm all hating on this fool, then what's wrong with this fool? Who is this fool? <laughs> You know, and my, and my girl was like, I did a dope ass song with Daz, and I was like, man, fuck all that, because I'm a rapper too. You know what I'm saying? I'm, so I'm a rapper. <laughs> so I'm a rapper, right? So my girl comes, and my girl comes home like hella late with her mom, because I didn't want to go. I didn't want to be that boyfriend at the studio, you know. What the fuck were so she you? comes back and she's like, oh my god, we did a dope ass fucking song, and I was like, oh yeah. She's like, yeah, let me play it. I was like, oh, it's kind of late. She's like, no, let me play it for you. I was like, all right, play that shit. And and she's playing this song. It's called Crush. S.A. Daz and Nicky Diaz. This shit's a dope ass record. Yeah. Dope ass record off the soundtrack for Philly Brown, the movie with the only movie that Jenny Rivera did. Right? With Lou Diamond Phillips and all those guys, right? Anyways. So she plays a song and I'm like, damn it, that fucking song is good. It's like, damn, this is a dope ass fucking song. Like, I and like this like shit. Fuck that. And anyways, dude. right? So anyway, so he starts doing, you know, he I think he did a couple more songs with her, and then I ended up meeting him, and I was like, man, this guy's fucking cool. Like I, I'm over here hating on this fucking dude, right? Like he's he's fucking. This guy's <laughs> fucking cool. Yeah. Like, don't you ever like? You never met somebody you didn't like, or you thought you were gonna like, and then you meet him, you're like, oh fuck, I was. Yes. I was, I was tripping. I was yes. Like, this guy's a fucking yes. gem. Yeah. He's a jewel. I want to meet this. I want to. I want yeah. this guy to be my friend. Yeah, like, fuck that motherfucker. Right? And then you meet him, and you're like, fuck, I take that back. Right? I, rep I repent. Right? <laughs> so, I, so I ended up I ended up really liking this fucking guy, Daz, right? Come to find out, I didn't know who Daz was, right? Like, I, I wasn't previewed to who he was. I knew the song, right. Team with the Bullet. Right. But I never knew, like... He was behind he, it. He was behind it. Until I went to his house, and he was he was really nice. And he was like, man, come over to my house, man. This is... Big Laker fan. Right. So we used to watch a gang of the Lakers. Because I used to live in Lakewood. He lived in Carson. So we used to hang out all the time. We used to go watch the Laker games and all that shit, right? And, uh... He lived in so, Lake Moss. Yeah, so we, you know, so we became really good friends, dog. And, uh... He was like, yo, man, like, I heard you're doing video work. And I'm like, yeah, man, I'm doing some video work. I'm like, I'm not really doing, like, music videos and shit. I'm just doing, like, small little, like, documentaries. He's like, man, like, you want to shoot a music video for me? I was like, dog, like, you got dope-ass videos. You know, shout-outs to Edo. He shot, you know, he directed a couple of them. Right, you know? right. You know, that's a, you know, he was, you know, Edo was a great mentor of mine for, you know, for a really long time. Um, So he was like, man, can you shoot some videos for me? And I was like, yeah, you know what, dog, like, I'll shoot a video. So I shot my first music video for S.A. Daz. Okay. Right? And then, like, two months later, he was like, man, can you shoot another one? And I was like, look, Daz, this is how much of a real one Daz is, bro. He's a real one, bro. I was like, Daz, look, check it out, bro. And he didn't have to because he didn't know me, right? But he, I was like, look, Daz, 
I'll shoot your music videos, bro. If you buy me a 50 millimeter lens from Sigma, it's 400 bucks at on Amazon. I said, bro, I don't have 400 bucks to spend on the lens. But I guarantee you, if you buy me this lens for 400 bucks, your videos are going to look dope, and then I won't charge you. Right, right, right. He said, fool, send me the link. <laughs> Say no more. Say I sent him the link, fool. He bought the fucking lens, and it changed my video game forever. Hell yeah. You know what I'm saying? Hell yeah. So Daz is one of the catalysts of my video career. Like, I always, I mean, I, I always said it in a That's, that's a saying? beautiful thing. That's a beautiful but thing. But Daz, bro. like, he didn't have to do that. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. this guy's been in the industry, you know, and... You know he's he's been a um, he's been a counselor at uh, Holland Beck Middle School right there in uh, which a lot of people don't know. He's the Boyle educator. Heights. Oh no, Boyle Heights, East LA. I don't want to say the, the wrong city. But I, be I believe I well no, I don't want to say it either. So yeah, so. I don't want to say, but it's anyway. It's Holland Beck Middle School, and he's he's a dope ass counselor. Like I've, I've I met his you know like well at the time I met the kids and you know they all love yeah. shit so. Well, somebody just dropped a dollar ninety nine shout outs. Nays, Rasca, Webo, Service, LLC. Like, what like, what yes. are we doing? Like, are somebody we, like, do I get ten percent or what? Yeah, we yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll mail it to you. Yeah. So, <laughs> um, Boyle Heights. Somebody said. Yeah, Some, uh, somebody uh, dropped twenty bucks. Uh, T O A O YouTube channel. Much love, fellas. Okay. And you know what's funny, Tony, is that. The reason I didn't want to say Boyle Heights or East LA is because people, oh my God. I know, I know, I know. Fool. <laughs> Fool, you know how many followers I lost, bro? <laughs> okay, so I went to the Pino. The one on fucking, uh, yeah. the one on. The original Blen one, the real one. The one in fucking Blen and Blah, right? Yeah. Because my homegirl lives there. Okay. All right, so my homegirl lives down the street. And I go to the Pino and I'm doing a video. I'm like, I'm here with the Pino. East LA boy, and they were like, "Oh, it's not that. You don't know where you're at." Because and I was like, "Oh, I just thought it was East LA." They're like, "Hell no, nah, fool!" So they get mad whether you like if you call East LA Boy Heights or if you call Boy Heights East LA fool, they flip, bro. Yeah, I know. Like it's either or. I didn't know that. See, I'm from the Valle. I'm from the A1A. So I just thought it was anything East of LA. Right. Was East LA. Right. No, you gotta be. Nah, they be tripping, fool. Because even like Duno, my boy Duno, he's a comedian on social media. And uh -huh. he's, you know, he, has a, he has a dope ass podcast. Um, he was like, nah, bro. I live in Northeast LA. I was like, oh, okay. All right. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I didn't know, bro. But people be tripping. So, but I got to respect it, right? Because people tell me, like, oh, for you grew up in Pocoyma. I was like, no, I actually grew up in San Fernando. Ah, same shit. I'm like, no, it's not. It's not. <laughs> <laughs> like, no, no, it's not. <laughs> you, you know, it's funny because because I won't say who it was, but somebody from the brown side was here, mm -hmm. and uh, they said, "Hey, you stay in the Harbor area?" And I go, "Yeah." So he comes over here. He goes, "Yeah, I'm gonna give love to Long Beach," and I was like, uh, "This is not Long Beach, bro." But no. it's, but it's Harbor area, right? No. Yeah, but this is not Long Beach. I'm yeah. just letting you know. Oh, okay, I didn't know that. I get what you're saying. Yeah, it's like San Pedro. Like somebody said, oh, Harbor area, oh, San Pedro, oh, what's up, fool? And you're like, nah, no, fool, I'm not that way. This is mother, this is motherfucking, this is mother. Yeah, I mean, this is fucking weed, man. Uh, exactly, because I know you're filming a video down the street right here. Dog, so. I, you know, no, and you know what's funny, though, is that I've shot videos respectfully yes, yes, in yes. every hood in the LA. Yes. All right? I've been blessed enough to be able to work with so many artists uh -huh. that are from rival gangs yeah you know what i'm saying bro of course like, you know i've a lot of people think it's just easy just to work with everybody right but i've done videos for rival gang members right from, bro. from mortal enemy hoods bro but you know what's always kept it like you know why i've always been able to do those videos is because i keep it 100 with each and every one of them absolutely Absolutely. And as long as you respect who these people are and you respect where they're from, bro, there's no reason why. But I've done videos with people from this neighborhood, people from that neighborhood, and it's always been love, bro. And they know that I shot videos for mortal enemies. Yeah. But because I've never, like, I've always been really respectful and I respect the craft. And, you know, when I'm shooting videos, it like, has nothing to do with the streets. Is I'm just doing a job. You know what I'm saying? Right, 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 right. It's like it never made a difference to me. You know right. what I'm saying? Hey, um, can I ask you a question? Uh, yeah, go ahead. Your first, uh, your first camera, uh, mm -hmm. the one with the SA Daz, what, what uh, camera were you using? Uh, the first music video? 
Yeah, for your first music video, what camera did you use? The first music video I did was uh, S.A. Daz, and I did it on a Canon T2i. Canon T2i? Yeah, Canon T2i. 1080. 1080p. Sweet. Super HD, my friend. Super HD. Yeah, but I was doing, like, I had shot my first video in 2008. I shot my own music video. Your, vi your video? Yeah, it's called Cold as Ice. Look it up. Beretta, Cold as Ice. My first music video. I shot it on the one day that Palmdale had snow. <laughs> so you shot, like, did you hold it like a selfie and, like, you were... Yeah. Okay. And then I had the homie hold it. And I was like, hey, if we stand right there, if one, I was like, get this fucking sick-ass background, fool. <laughs> I don't fucking rap, you homie. <laughs> <laughs> Keep me in the center. Keep oh, me in the shit. center. Don't cut my head off. Get Kuju on a skit. Sure, let's do it. Hell yeah. <laughs> Hey, yeah. Uh, okay, let's keep it pushing. Who's the new drum machine? To oh, hey, what's your new drum machine? S2400. Oh, it's not an SP1200. No, S2400. Do you have an SP1200? I used to, and I got rid of both. Of I had Why? two of them. Th th them shits go like for like I know. 10 racks if you sell it. I know, but you know what? When I got rid of them, I want to say this. I shamefully, admit, I got rid of them in 2006. I had two of them. I had one from the 80s and then all one right. that was a pre-release. Right. One was all blue, one was all black. But here's the thing. They only had 10 seconds worth of sampling time. Now, not that that's bad because you had Dr. Dre who did Easy E's album, NWA's album, Michelle Lay's album, well, Above the Law's album, the DOC's album, JJ Fat album, all on 10 seconds worth of sampling time. But yeah. <clears throat> years later, the S2400 uh, came out because the SP12 decided to, we're going to go out of business. So they took what the SP12 did and revamped it. Mm. This year, they came out with it, it was $1,400. And I said, I'm buying that motherfucker. Yeah. So I, I got it in my next row, I'll show it to you, bro. Yeah, hell yeah. So I, I, I bought- I still have my MPC 2000 XL. Okay, dope. The first dope. one I bought, well, actually, the first one my dad bought. Yeah. Tarzan, yeah. So I have that SP12, okay? And I got rid of it, now I have the SP24. Yeah. SP12 motherfuckers. I'm going to say this to you motherfuckers, if you guys are listening, okay? All of a sudden, because they saw the, how the S2400 was selling, all of a sudden, they're back in business. So the SP1200 is dropping a limited edition drum machine. I just bought my shit, bro. Yeah, you really and, check, motherfucker. Yeah, so my thing is, to, it's, <laughs> it's, it's 1400 and you guys want to come with 4000 Yeah, well. Yeah, yeah, it's a little bit cool. This fool said, I'm 50 and 0 against drunk bisons. Oh, that's fucked up, my That's dude. fucked up. Jose nothing. <laughs> so. I don't know. He, he could just be kidding. I don't give a fuck. Mm -hmm. you know. So, all right, guys. Um, We're going to wrap it up. Yeah, if I stay any longer, bro, I'm going to start telling confessions and shit. I'm yeah, like, e gotta... even if they're false. <laughs> <laughs> no, I wouldn't say a confession that's false. No, to me, I confess shit that was made up. Why, Tony? I just fuck? freestyle shit. You so just freestyle lies. Yeah, I ran on the street butt naked with a Michael Myers mask when I was on Sherm, and I never. It asked it asked if your shirt's uh, shrinking, my guy. My shirt. Get do no on do. Hey, that's my guy. So okay, so I have a movie coming out with do mm -hmm. no. Me and movie, uh, me and do no Jerry Garcia. Um. Camino Rivera from Mayans. We got a movie coming out called Orchata and No Milk. Or Dog. Orchata and No Milk. No, Orchata and Oat Milk. Oh, and Oat Milk, okay. Yeah. This shit is... This shit is fire, dog. This shit is so fucking... Look, dog, I don't say a lot of shit's funny. Right, right, right. right. It, like, I'm really a hard person to make laugh, right? Like, right. after I saw Dumb and Dumber Part 1, it took me, like, years for me to even think a movie was funny. It wasn't until I saw, like, old school or some shit that I was like, right, oh, right, shit, right. this movies are back. Right. Like, comedy movies are back. Because for a while, it was just like Armageddon's and all kinds of shit, right? So, but this 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 particular movie, dog, called Orchata No Milk, it's me, Duno, Jerry Garcia, Emilio Rivera, uh, Jay Valentino's in it. Man, I mean, we got so many good acts in it, bro. It's 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 actually it's, it's pretty fucking funny, dog. And I can't wait for that shit to come out. Hell yeah. Yeah, it's gonna be dope. So let's get, yeah, man, let's get doing open this bitch. Tony A with uh, why did High C AMG and Second to None albums sound so different than the other albums of the same time? Because of Big Bass, Brian, or whoever? I no, know, that's, that's a you question, my G. Well, uh, one thing about High C's album that was recorded in the city. No, 
two cities. City of Torrance, where NWA recorded their shit. I recorded half of their album there. Uh, Old Torrance off of, uh, I want to say Cabrillo and Carson Street. Uh, the studio's still there. We recorded half of that album there, and then the rest of the album in the city of Alhambra. A lot of people don't know that AMG, Second to None, recorded their album at Skip Sailors in, in L.A. Skip Sailors? Yeah. I, mean, I, I went to a studio right there by New uh, Universal Studios recently. Recently, I mean like seven years ago. Okay. Yeah, so they recorded everything there, but I want to say this. December 11th, tune in, because I'm going to have a high C here on a Saturday on Rodeo Radio, because we are celebrating our 30th year anniversary that our record came out. 30 years ago. We sold 500,000 copies. We've been gold, bro. I was fucking five years old when you guys dropped. Yes, bro. Yes. Tony, I was five years old when when I when you dropped. Tony, you was already getting pussy by then? Simon. Punani. Like, been, and Tang. not just like any, right? He was getting like rapper pussy. Putang. There's, there's levels to this shit. Panoch. Right? There's levels. There's like. Catcher Smith. No, no, no. There's like drug dealer. <laughs> like, there's like fame. Like, there's like really popular guy in high school, you know? Right? Then there's like. Nappy Dugout. Then there's like drug dealer, right? Remember Vanessa? Uh, right? <laughs> right? Dr like, drug dealers had like some. Uh, or, or Megan, what was her name? Megan Fox, he was, he was, no, he was with homegirl from, uh, anyways, we'll talk about that later. Yeah, exactly. Anyway, so, and then there's drug dealer women, and then there's, like, act, you know, Simone. like, semi-famous, and then there's, like, actor, and then there's, like, athlete. <laughs> right? Yes. Like, there's different levels to the pimping, right? Right. Just to let you guys know, IG doesn't get you anything, bro. Like, <laughs> <laughs> you know, there's no influencer like right, right. You know right. what I'm saying? Like, I love my wife, man. Like, she keeps all good. Me super grounded, man. All good. You know what I'm saying so. All, all good. I don't see any of it, bro. Yeah. So, so, uh, so yeah. You know what? Um, we we recorded at different studios, but uh, one thing about 1991, DJ Quick, Second to None, AMG, and High C. We all came out in the same year. We all toured together, and I DJ for all of them. So that's 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 where my history started. Uh, if you really want to go deeper into my history, 19, 1987, I started doing mixtapes for Steve Yano, The Rodin Swami with Dr. Dre, uh, Ice Cube, Eazy-E, uh, Michelle, uh, I don't know, Young MC, Tone Loke. Um, Tone Loke? Tone Loke, yeah. I did I did mixtapes with Tone Loke. Shut up, really? Yeah, seriously, 1987, that's when I started. You're and talking about uh, Tone Loke, that fool. Yeah, yeah. Wild wow, thing. Wild thing. Yeah. That's fucking crazy, yeah. bro. Attention, like, oh, I was like the fucking ladies. seven, Tony. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> what the yes. fuck? Seriously, bro. I bought your shit like at TJ food, like for yes. two bucks. I'm sorry, dude. Right. I owe you, I owe you ten bucks, Tony. It's all good. You can cash at me. <laughs> but uh, anyways, Tony, I owe you like ten bucks. I bought like your shit for a long time ago, my guy. <laughs> yeah. So December 11th, I will have high C here. I'm gonna have a bartender here, and I'm gonna have some uh, ceviche to come out on here. We're just gonna grow up and talk and bullshit. Look, because, they want my girl in here, Nikki Diaz. Yeah, it, dude. It's been 30 years. Since we dropped that record. Who, uh, school me on your girl, Nikki Diaz, bro. Okay. That's funny, man. So, Nikki Diaz, I met... Okay, so I met my wife, Nikki Diaz, through her cousin, her blood cousin, Burst Rock. Burst Rock is one of the biggest pop blockers in the I, I had him here. Burst Rock. He's a popper, yeah. Yeah. So, Burst Rock is one of the biggest pop blockers in LA in the last 25, 30 years. Yes. Okay, he, he's done TV shows. He had one of the biggest Super Bowl commercials... And That's right. It's Super Bowl commercial history. He had a Levi's commercial where the guy's walking down Mexico City listening to the music in a slingshot, and then his legs are like fucking moving crazy, right? Yeah. It was a Levi's commercial. Yeah. Right. So I'm gonna rock. Okay. <laughs> I'm listening to. The, I'm talking to the comments. I'm almost a rock, cabron. Okay. So I was performing. So he had called me. He said, hey, so me and him have done, you know, we, we, we opened up for Quick. We opened mm -hmm. up for everybody, dog. I like all over town. Like we used right. to do the Key Club and House of Blues when I used to rap and all that shit, right? So we opened up for a bunch of good, a bunch of guys. And then one day he was like, hey, man, you know, we're like, we're not doing any shows right now. I'm throwing my birthday party. Okay. 
He said, can you do me a favor and bring the band so you guys can rap at my birthday party? And I was like, fuck yeah. Yeah. I was like, of course, dude. You're my fucking boy, bro. So I, I, we rolled up, right? We rolled up. We're doing the show. And I see this girl taking a picture of me and him on stage. And I was like, Ooh, she's wee. fine. <laughs> and I was like, hella fine. Right? Not mean. And then, so I didn't know that was his cousin. Okay. So I'm trying to dance with her and shit throughout the night. And she was like, no, get away from me. You were trying to do a smurf. Fucking rapper. You know, she was doing all this shit. And I was like, oh, you're going to love me. You know? Not mean. So I didn't, so I didn't, I didn't get her number, nothing. Right. But I, so I ended up finding out that that was the homie's cousin. Yeah. So Birch Rock has a brother named Oreo. I called Oreo and, and I was like, Oreo, what's up? He's like, hey, what's up with your cousin, Nikki? Oh, yeah, she sings, dog. And I was like, oh, that's crazy, fool, because I need a hook right now. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, fool, you don't say she sings. Hmm. And I was like, fool, I need a sick-ass hook, right? So he was like, oh, I'm going to plug you guys up. So she had heard my music, and she was like, oh, okay, that fool, okay, that fool sounds pretty good or whatever. And then so she, uh, she comes to the studio. I think we were in um, Southgate. And you were like, I win. Oh, you were the way. I, I put on my little fancy purple shirt with some like at, at this time like, what was it? Ottinger, Ottinger was in style. What is it? And with your polo cologne. So fool, oh fool, I had sick ass curve. Oh, I, was, I, I think I had a curve or whatever. <laughs> curve, curve. Yeah, I did. I, I think I put on curve or something. <laughs> for it, so I knew I had it in the bag. <laughs> Pussy in the bag. <laughs> Right? <laughs> so she does this hook, and I'm like, yo, what's up? Let me, let me, let me get your number, you know? Yeah. And so I got her number, man, and next thing you know, we're fucking married like 10 months later. Fuck. You know? But yeah, so anyway. Congratulations, so, Yeah, you know, so come to find out, like, you know, she was already in industry for a long time. Like, she had done movies with, like, Liam Neeson when she was fucking five. And one of her, you know, she used to sing at, uh, at, at Venice Beach. Okay. So she used to pay for her parents' rent. Really? And, like, get money and, like, really make, like, money during the weekend at Venice Beach. Her grandma used to take her. Right? Oh, so during her show, she used to have people or acts that were there. So two of the acts were Michael Clark Duncan and Danny Trejo. Those guys used to work out at Muscle Beach and come be a part of her show when she sang. So when she would be wow. done, she would get on Danny's bike or Michael Clark Duncan's bike and ride off. And people would be like, oh, yeah. yeah. And then they would start tipping her. So wow. Danny and Michael Clark Duncan, Danny Trejo, and my, were a part of her show at Venice Beach when she was like eight. Wow. So then she did all like so, so then after that, she did fucking Jenny Jones and all these shows in the 90s. And then, you know, she started touring with B2K and she started touring with fucking... Uh, uh, she had her own girl group with Virgin Records. She got a record deal, and then she used to tour with. Uh, she used to be backup dancer, singer for, uh, what's uh, the girl fight? What's uh, Brooke Valentine? So she did all that, you know what I'm saying? So she was doing all the music, and she's been doing music for the last what I don't know. You know is she still that. is she still uh, doing music now? Nah, man, she's been like a mom, just mommy. Oh, shit. My mommy do this, you know, but she loves it, man. She, I mean, you know, she's a great, you know, she's a great mom. She's a teacher, not only that, but. Takes care of the home, man, and I'm the one that brings the bread, you know what I'm saying? Fuck yeah, that's fucking dope, bro. Thank you, yeah, man. Yeah, but thank that's you, her story in a nutshell. Thank you for show. sharing that, bro. Yeah, yeah, for sure, man. Well, you know what? Uh, I need you to, I need a, an uh, interview here. So you gotta yeah, hook that up. Yeah, for so, sure. Nicky D? Chicano's got his brother. Yeah, Nicky D is. Okay, Nicky D is. Or okay. a fool they work with. 28 flexing. <laughs> I'm not flexing. Hey, they're saying you're flexing, fool. They're saying that you're lying, fool. Hey, y'all. Have you guys seen that? Um, that new Rick Ross uh, album cover where he's wearing the... the uh, yeah, the fucking gloves. What do you God, think I'm about that? What do you think about that? Um, I don't know, bro. I, I'm not gonna, he's, like, he's like this or like this or some, some bullshit like Who? that. Uh, Rick Ross, he, he, he's got a new album, but his uh, album cover, people are describing it as looking like the Queen of England. The Queen of England. Because oh, he, I don't fucking know. Yeah. Okay. I'm just, he thinks he's the queen. That's all I want to say. That motherfucker's wearing white and he's like this and he's like, look, controversy sells, and I, I know that's what he's doing. Yeah. I didn't. I didn't. This is the controversial dog. Exactly. Exactly. 
I uh, need to do something gimmicky. Like you know what I have? Like gimmicky. A, no? a packy chip. You know what a packy chip is? No, that sounds racist, Tony. No, uh, <laughs> a- Alex, Alex. Yeah. Go get that packy chip in my uh, vitrina. All right. That packy chip. Okay. Here's my thing. See, that's, that's that shit. Okay. Weird. Okay. Interesting. I don't want to say weird. Interesting. Yeah. Packy chip. Okay. Uh, were you born in Mexico or here? What kind of fucking question is that, you fucking narc? I'm just asking because... <laughs> fucking immigration, motherfucker? Okay. I was asking immigration questions? What the fuck, Tony? Packy First of chip. All, no, Tony, hold on. First no of all, ice. you asked me if I write my own fucking shit, and then you asked me if I'm fucking born here. No ice? You fucking ice, motherfucker. No ice? Yes. <laughs> ice, ice, baby. Yes, I was born here full of van eyes. Oh, what's okay. Up? Packy chip. Go ahead, open it. That's bien way. I'm Pack not gonna do it for you tripping. I'm just asking. I'm just asking. The it's one chip challenge. Boy, I got a shit tomorrow. <laughs> Peps, you gotta go half with me. Come on, P. Let's do it on camera. Wow. Let's do it on camera, bro. Just half a chip or just one little bite, and we'll see what happens. A ver qué pasa. Come here. One little bite. Open it. Come here, P. Come here, get on camera. My cousin's one of the best dressed Chicanos in the Hell world. yeah, I love his fucking shoes, bro. Come here. Straight bro. up. Get in the camera. Come here, open that motherfucker. Keep in mind, do not touch your face after this, okay? From what I heard. You sure? Do not touch your face. All right, you guys fucking ready for this or what? Nah, I mean. Okay. Oh, Sky Lone Tony just asked him Concrete if he could interview Concrete. Yes, just one, four. Podcast is over as soon as he eats it. Podcast is over. <laughs> It's one chip. Okay. Nah, fool. I'll take this little. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah, Just, you know. Alex, you want a piece? I'm good. I'm good. Okay, little piece. Okay, Bro. take it at the same time. Don't touch your eye. Okay. Don't touch your the, eye. Okay, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Scoot over a little bit more. A little bit more over here. Oh, come on, Pete. Yeah. A little come bit on, more. You want to yeah. sit right next to me? Oh, yeah. Fuck. Come on, Pete. Get come in on. here. Come on, carnal. I'm in here. Okay. All right. Let, let, one, two, three. All right. Take it. Okay, a ver qué pasa. It's just a little piece. If you feel you need another, another piece, go ahead and take it. <coughs> Don't let me be a bad influence. Where's the dumb and dumb? Where's the dumb and dumber ketchup when you need it, bro? <laughs> <laughs> It's a package chip. Wow. Okay. Yo, my eyes are fucking burning like a motherfucker. I can't. Baby. I can't do it, Danny. I, I can't do it, Tony. I'm oh, just. Shit. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I'm on this way. Fucking <laughs> eyes are fucking burning. What? God. It's a one chip challenge. What the fuck? What the fuck? Bro, and that was just a little tiny piece. You want some soda? <clears throat> Can I get some water, G? <clears throat> yeah. God damn. We got soda on Woo! That, that'll do. Uh, hey, bro, is that like regular chili or no? No, that's not regular. I don't that's pendejo, eyes, wait. That's been pendejo, wait. Don't touch your eyes, though. So it's not regular chili? No, it doesn't pendejo, wait. Bro, I'm sweating, dog. What the fuck? And that was just a little piece. <coughs> Imagine little motherfuckers taking the whole chip. My question is, who's going to eat the rest of that chip, though? I'm going to throw that motherfucker away. <laughs> That's what I'm going to fucking do. That shit is smoking. No, that way. Like, fuck that. Well, you, you got, yeah, you're part of the show. No, no, no. No, no, no. You're part of the show. No. No. You can't no. have your fucking guess. <laughs> you can't have your fucking guess. <laughs> <laughs> I I'll, can't. I'll go ahead and choke out. Uh, it's like that? Damn. What the fuck do you mean, Tony? Yes, it's like uh, that, bro. Bro, that's ridiculous, G. Oh, fuck. Ooh. Ira, Ira. Hay toallitas allá. Like, like toallitas right there. Uh, I'm a sick-ass heartburn, fool. Okay. Let's end the show.
Um, we're gonna go. <laughs> uh, no. Uh, what the fuck? The they, they, it's they, not going away. It, it's they, not going away. They said it has it lasts five minutes. So. <laughs> what the fuck, Tony? I, bro, I just said one little piece. <laughs> You cannot blame me. I'm innocent, man. Take a tiny bite, fool. No, fuck that. That's fucked up, Tony. You, do, you want me to, have to take a fucking shot, fool? Wow, perro. Perro, I love you. Nah, that's fucked up, fool. I, t- I took three shots when you asked me to take it, fool, and you didn't take fucking one little piece, fool. Get my mom away. Get my mom away. Get my mom away. Bro. To your fucking gas, fool. I look at you. I look at you. Why would I want to feel like that? Wait, yeah, but you don't do that to your fucking guests. Will you fucking, you you fucking go down the fucking trenches with them? I asked we're, you if you wanted to. You said you. no. Well, you yeah, said. Dick. Uh, assuming that you were gonna be down, I'm fucking crying, dog. I'm fucking crying, dog. My <laughs> eyes are tearing down my cheeks, fool. I'm fucking crying, fool. Look. I love you. Stop. Tony, that's fucked up. We'll take a hit, fool. I can't do that. Well, that's got you, fool. You ask your fucking guests to do it, fool? Bro, I just had just, just a little tiny piece. Gee, you can't ask your fucking guests to do something you wouldn't do. That's not how it works, Tony. I'll take another shot. I don't give a fuck about a shot. You could take the whole bottle to the head and get alcohol poisoning. You need to feel this. You need to feel this. I can't. Milk? <laughs> That's fucked up. We'll take a little pee. I can't. I can't. What do you mean you can't? How do you? How do you even do that? I love you, my bro. No, you don't. But, no. If you did, you would take a little piece and fucking be in the trenches with me. I, I can't. can't fucking believe you, dog. I He'll can't be believe you fucking do it, bro. I hope on the. I hope when you have high seen you guys do your thirtieth anniversary, it all goes to shit. <laughs> no, just bring another chip. No, I hope your fucking audio doesn't work. <laughs> And nobody gets to hear your fucking 30th year anniversary bullshit. <laughs> Fuck you, Tony. Fucking do it, man. I got, I'll reverse the spell. I can't. Tony, what the fuck, man? I'll reverse the spell. I'll reverse the spell, fool. Right now, your 30th anniversary is going to go to shit, fool. I'll make sure of that. I can't. I'll fucking come and dump outside your fucking house and call the cops, man. <laughs> <laughs> He's not Mexican. My aunt's had a verga. <laughs> He's not Mexican. A ver, Christian. He's not verga. A ver, wey. It's going away. It's, it's going away now. I can tell it's going away. It's going away. I can tell. Then take it. You know, it's five minutes. Bro. Fuck that. My fucking nose is burning. Okay. Bro, I asked you if you wanted to. I'll take it. Well, yeah, because assuming that I thought you were going to do it with us. No, I didn't. I, that was never. That was not part of the disclaimer. That's so fucked up, Tony. Bro, I what love you. Stop. Quitter. What a fucking quitter. <laughs> oh, fucking Chucky comes alive and eats you in the night. You're a fucking quitter. I hope everything you do from now on it just goes to shit. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you fucking don't collect insurance if you get a car crash. I hope you don't fucking... <laughs> I hope you don't fucking get it harder the next time you fall. <laughs> I don't care what he said. I love this guy. Okay? He didn't have to. It was just a little piece. I didn't have to dig, but I did it for you. Fool. You can't even do it for me. Wow. That's fucked. Dude, take a piece, fool. At least a little crack. A little fucking crack, fool. No, no. You want to see me in pain. That's the problem. I want... Yes! Yes. See, it's your show. You hear it's, that? It's, it's Do fucking, it for the fans. Yeah. Do it for the fans. The name of the fucking show is Dining hey, with pop, the pop Wizard. That question. Pop that question out. Who wants to see Tony take some of Come that on, shit? Come on, Tony. It's Dining with. Who wants to it's, see it's, Tony it's take dining some of that with shit? you, fool. It's Dining with you. I'm not dining with me, motherfucker. It's Dining with you. <laughs> pop that question on there. I didn't name the fucking show. You named it. Do it, Tony. Everybody's saying let's do go, it. Let's go. Yo, yo. Let's, let's put it to the fans. Drop a hundred dollars and I'll do it. What the dude, our fucking viewers went up. Well, come on. Drop a hundred dollars and I'll do it. The viewers. Man, that shit's no joke, dog. It's no fucking joke. Bro, and that was a little tiny fucking that was, piece. That was a crumb. It wasn't even a piece, dog. People do the whole fucking thing. Fuck, man. Man, the snot is real right now. <laughs> There's no if it's still fucking burning. Dog. It's going away. It's going away. No, it's not, fool. It's it's it, it, it feels like it's getting worse. Okay, it's time for shout outs. Anybody want to give a shout out? No, don't end the life. <laughs> Tony, what the fuck, man? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah, eat the fucking peas, Tony. Come on, man. What the fuck, dude? Right, let's see. Let's see. Let's get that pull going, man. He needs, he needs to. Come on, Tony. Tony overdrive his. Tony, come on, dude. What the fuck, man? Bro, that shit gets your tongue swollen, dog. I can't do it, bro. Just a piece. I'm scared. <laughs> scared of what? I'm scared. How can you be more scared to take that into living fucking? Where do you live at? Where, 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 what is this? The viewers. The viewers. <laughs> we, Wilmington. Yeah. <laughs> How can you not be scared to live in Wilmington? And we take a piece. There he is. Let's fucking go. There he is. The yeah, wall, that's, the fine. Wall that's fine. That's fine. No, no, my best man. Bro. Take the big one. Yeah, I see that way. Ninety-eight percent is safe. There, take it. Take, sure? it. take it. Yes, take it. Go, 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 go. Ninety-eight percent said yes. Come yes, on. Bro, okay. Alex, go give me, give, be ready to give me a napkin, okay? Yeah. Because yeah. I'm about to get all fucking mocoso. Hey, but you got to eat the motherfucker. Chew it and eat it. Don't fucking spit it out. Yeah, yeah, chew it. Are you still, fu- are you still fucked up? Ah, dick, yeah, yeah. Estás viendo, güey. Estás viendo, güey, como tienes el pendejo aquí. You know, this might in my life. <laughs> okay. That shit look like Come on, Tony. Jerky. Let's go. I'm going to get fucking bro. heartburn tonight because of you. Okay. Tony. You ready, big dog? Tony. Yeah. Tony. Y, y you know what I'm uh, sabes que carnal? Waters are worse too when you're doing yes. this. Yes, sabes que carnal? I got you. Let's go. There he is. Woo! I know it's going to fuck me up. I don't give a fuck. Sheesh. You do it for the fans. There he is. That shit tastes terrible, huh? Do it for the yeah. viewers. Yeah. It doesn't taste like fucking ceviche. Let's go. It doesn't taste like ceviche. <laughs> that didn't help. <laughs> Wait, wait. <laughs> just, just give it three minutes. Alex, you want a you piece? <laughs> Alex, 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 you want a piece? I don't have enough soda. I, I don't have enough soda for that. The are like heat up, carnal. <laughs> you think it gets better over time? It gets worse. It's coming. It's coming. Once the, the ears start popping, you're, you're good. You know? They're walking you through it, dog. Don't ever try this at home, kids. Do not. Do not. The steam's about to come out, bro. Look at that. Here comes the tears. Here comes the tears. Don't it's touch fucking, your eye. Don't touch your eye. It's fucking horrible. No, no. <laughs> it's fucking horrible. That should be part of the show from this point on. Right? Hell yeah. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. Let's go. <laughs> I, 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 I swear to God, I wish I had like 150 pounds. <laughs> it's not helping, folks. It's, it's not helping. But I'm, I'm trying. The sweat, the sweat is coming now. First is the tears and the sweat. <laughs> I'm a favorite. Hey, uh, hey, what do you feel about climate change, dog? <laughs> Global warming is kicking in. <laughs> Yo, fuck you, motherfuckers. <laughs> Yo, you know, you know what happened is that I coughed and it went down the wrong hole, and that's when it fucked me up, bro. My nose is on fire, fool. Yeah, bro. Oh, my God. You start smoking, bro. How you feeling, my guy? You good? I'm good. Let's. Who's down? Take another piece. Let's oh, go. Hey, I'm right here, my Come boy. Come on, G. Nah. Hey, hey, it's like a gang of shit. The, the only one left. The fool that's been side busting all night. <laughs> Come on, fool. Take a I'm move. good. I'm good. No, I haven't right. been side busting. I've been helping. Side I've been, bu- side I've been helping with the. It's called dining with the wizard, homie. That's dining A. Today. That's dessert for dining with the wizard. Today we dine with the wizard. No mames. Whoever created us, go fuck yourself in your cornhole. Straight up, motherfucker. <laughs> it's fucking that's horrible. How you gotta, that's how you gotta finish every dinner, dog. It's from fucking that, horrible, every dog. Show from now on. <laughs> fuck. That is like a fucking disaster in your head. But I'm scared. Let's dance. Let's go. <laughs> 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 I know I'm gonna finish off my motherfucking shot. Let that motherfucker burn. Let's go. Oh, what the fuck, oh, man? I don't know 
if anybody's ever told you, you got nice tetas. <laughs> <laughs> the first time I ever went into a fucking screen wall. <laughs> 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 I want to hit my head on a brick wall. <laughs> 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 this is a fucking disaster move. Fuck. All right. <laughs> oh, fuck. Okay. Oh, oh man. Do another one. Oh. See. De la verga, puto. <laughs> hey, hey, can you imagine? Okay. Taking a little piece of this. Your it's tongue is fucking form. burning. It's horrible for us. And then you go down on your girl. Oh, you'll kill her. For <laughs> you think so? You'll kill her for sure. I don't know. Imagine somebody taking that and then sucking your dick. Imagine you go off fucking cheat a little. You'll, you'll fucking cry, fool. You'll, yeah, you'll run on the ground. Well, it's just like, fool, I just, I, I touch my head because I just cut my hair. Yeah. Like my nose, fool, it's completely burning right now, fool. My nose and my, and my nostrils, fool, it's completely burning. Give him the, oh, the thing for his hand, mm-hmm. the sanitizer. Anything he touches. Oh, no, yeah, well, yeah, yeah, I'm good, I'm good. I'm Somebody said if you don't eat shirt off for five seconds dick. I don't know. I'm just doing things right now. <laughs> tongue, tongue is swollen, man. <laughs> if you don't eat the whole thing, you're Mexican. Fine. I'm not Mexican. I'm not I'm Latino. I'm fine. I feel it with that. I'm Hispanic. I'm I live at a hostel. Yeah, I'm fine with that. Yeah. Damn. I'll take it, man. <sighs> this Mukaki had the best episodes in my opinion. Thank you, brother. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. You know, my oh, my That's horrible, fool. Is is that what's way? That's horrible, fool. And, and you know what? Every guest. This is not even like chile. This is like acid, bro. That's, so much, that's on another level, bro. Yeah, it's like fucking acid. Yeah. And you know what? <laughs> He's rethinking <laughs> life. <laughs> that's horrible, fool. It's a horrible feeling. Yeah. I've never felt yeah. that before, fool. You know what this chip says inside? Welcome to hell and back. Oh shit. Inside. But I'm not gonna open it because it has a bunch of mocos. No, it's horrible. It feels fucking horrible. So whoever oh my fucking worst enemy, dogs. Whoever invented this package chip, it's a la pinche verga culero. That's all I'm gonna say. I mean the thing's in a casket for God's sakes. It's a casket shaped box. What the fuck? <laughs> 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 And I was down, cause yeah, yeah, you did it. There you go. No. Is that the first time you do it? First time. Oh, with, okay, good. Well, yeah, that's the only way, though. How I, can you, yeah. Well, I know. You offer shots and, and like, what do you mean? You were like, no, fuck you, Tony. Get the white la pinche verga. Fuck your show. Tony, I was, hey, hey, if Tony didn't take that chip, I was never coming back to the show, bro. If Tony didn't take that chip, bro, I was never coming back on this shit, bro. I was never coming back. He was back. gonna be like, Fuck with mass, no disrespect. Yeah. <laughs> hey, no disrespect, Pedros, but Charlie, wait, that fool fucking Tony has a fucking green light, homie. <laughs> <laughs> green light. That fool's fucking green light. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna say this. We're out of here, guys. Okay, I'm gonna throw this out there. I'm down to take another piece if they are. No, I'm what? done. No, you're good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm not. No, no, I'm good. You fulfilled your fucking thing with me. I'm good. Bro. Okay, I'm down to take another piece. Nah, do you do it first? I'm good. No, no, no. You know no, what? No, no, no. Because if I, because if you do it first and I don't do it, I'm gonna look like a fucking sucker. <laughs> so no, we're good. You completed your mission, fool. I'm thank you. Appreciate Muchas gracias, carnal. Thank you guys, here we go. Yeah, that's, that, that was horrible. He, that, 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 I was that. Oh man, ridiculous, bro. But you, that you, was spontaneous, right? You had yeah, fun, right? Yeah. <laughs> nah, me. <laughs> <laughs> you want another shot, big dog? Oh, I'm good, bro. Buddy. You don't even finish your shit. No, I gotta drive right now. I'm driving now. No, he's gotta drive. <laughs> oh, I'm driving. How many? How many people does it take to drive a pogo stick? Uh, what? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's always gotta get gay with Tony. <laughs> <laughs> Key concrete was pissed. Low key, yeah, motherfucker. What do you mean? I'm pissed. Of course I was mad, oh, especially because he, he didn't want to do it. And I did it. So. Hell so yeah. now he's not mad. <laughs> hell yeah. Mm. I'm out of here, guys. Tomorrow, I gotta do a skit. Yeah. With with uh, Bootleg Cav and his artist Alex. Oh yeah. Okay. okay.
Hold on, one second. Well, that was horrible, dog. Yeah, so you said that shit for the next guest. I love you guys. Though Thank our you. fucking viewers went up. We have 206 right now. Yeah, yeah. That yeah. means that we probably have about 1,400, 1,600 people. Yeah. Live. On the chat, it's 200. Yeah, but total, yeah. we'll get it right now. Okay. I'm down to take another piece, everybody. Hey, that's, that's the part you got to post. Okay. To promote it. Okay. My guy's the only one left that hasn't gotten a piece right there. That's I know. <laughs> my guy. Hey, I didn't. I didn't. I didn't challenge no. I didn't challenge nobody to shit. We all did it. Why do I have to die? I didn't do nothing. Shit. You guys. You guys. Okay. Uh, big dog. So, any shout outs, Karnal? Yeah, shout outs to uh, you know, man. You know what, dog? Honestly, to be completely honest, man, I wanna, wanna shout outs to all my, uh, all my sponsors. That I'll have held me down for this year, you know, because without my sponsors, man, I can't really do what I love. Like, a lot of people think, like, you know, people are like, hey, man, you should drop skits every day. And it's like, yeah, for what? Like, I still got to make a living. I still got to right, feed my right, family right. and I still got to do things. But because of people like AB Chevy, shout out to my boy Justin from AB Chevy, shout out to Mission Bay Chevrolet, shout out to Taco Superior, shout out to McDonald's, West Coast McDonald's, the, the McMyro family. Um, they allow me, because they pay me to do skits, I'm allowed to do, I have time to be able to do all the skits for you guys. Because the ice cream machine works. Yeah, the ice cream machine yeah. works, man. Oh, yeah. You know, so I'm able to do skits, man, without having to worry about my rent or having to worry about things like that. So I want to thank my sponsors, definitely, for taking care of me and my family. And, you know, so, yeah, shout-outs to AB Chevy, my boy Justin, the whole family. Shout-outs to uh, Mission Bay Chevrolet. Shout-outs to... Uh, Tacos of Superior, shout out to the McMarvel family, McDonald's West Coast, man. Appreciate it. All good. Yeah, let's do oh and my and my and my boy Miguel from City Lokes. Uh man, I just you know that's 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 family, man. City Lokes all the way, bro. We own this bitch. All good. Woo! Big dog, any any shout outs you want to give? Do you want him to shout out? Everybody, everybody out there. Come here, they show. can't see you. <clears throat> This is my cousin. This obviously he's been rolling me forever, but this is yeah. my cousin. What up, what up, man? Just shout outs to everybody, all the viewers out yeah, there, man. See you, they can't see you. Everybody supporting, supporting concrete, man. Supporting the, the whole vibe, the whole movement, man. Just hit that follow, you know. If you're not already, Tony for having us. You know, absolutely. What I'm it's always a pleasure. Good afternoon. Appreciate everybody out there, man. Shout outs to everybody out there that you know. Showing love to your boy as well. Behind the scenes, pulling strings. Let's go. Hello. Hey, that oh, trip was a nice experience, huh? Hey, bro. 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 Hey, but if you guys are in Lancaster or Palm, then you guys need a truck. Go to AV Chevy. If you guys want to eat tacos, go to Tacos Superior. And if you guys are in the Valley, go to any McDonald's. The McMyro family got you. Let's go. Uh, let me give a big shout out to number one, uh, Derek Mallory <laughs> on, on the live chat. He's always lit. I'm going to give a shout out once again to Kina Bina. I'm going to give a shout out once again to my boy Concrete. Thank you, man. Thank you for having me. You, you know that. what? Much love, much respect to him. I didn't think he was going to take the chip, but you know, like most Mexicans, fuck it, I'll try it. Fuck I'll it. try it. What's going to be more hotter than Pico de Gallo? So, and then we fucking found out. And and I had to take that shit. I yeah. had to. You know, it, if you if you don't take it, you're not down for the hood. That's it. Yeah, sure. You, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> fuck, I don't know. Yeah, sure. Bro. Okay. I'll take another piece. That was good. Thank you guys, man. I appreciate the Rodeo Radio family, man. Thank you guys, all of every guys that tuned in, man. I appreciate it. Que chingón, güey. Aquí estamos para darle a su madre. Absolutely. And then uh, my boy Alex Cervantes, Cervantes Enterprise. Follow him at 81. Uh, my boy, uh, no, my son, B. Scanlis, mm -hmm. who's in Philadelphia. Uh, in Philly. Yeah. Uh, Philadelphia yeah. Freeway. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> so, uh, uh, much love to him. Uh, be scandalous. Follow him on Instagram. And uh, my boy, Anthony, the hip-hop Jedi. Yeah. He, he, he always uses the force inappropriate. And guys, please, if you're not following me, go to uh, go to that little thing right there. Yes. It's, it's the little, little yellow. Go on Instagram. Follow me. Concrete Live. If you guys want to see skits. 
Look, I may not make you laugh all the time, but I make. I, I promise you. I'll, I'll I'll do a video that's gonna impress you one day, and eventually he'll make you hard. Yeah, so but anyway, I mean, let's. <laughs> so yes, yes. So once again, um, his Instagram will be on the description. So make sure you guys follow him. Concrete, yes. thank you. It's the pocket good. chip, we took it, yeah, yeah, and yeah. we out of here, homie. Let's get out of here, man. I'm fucking out of here. Stay blessed. Man. I'll beat him up, beat him up, beat him up, beat him up.